Hello and welcome to LN Audiobooks. Please subscribe and leave your suggestions and favorite novels on this channel. Thank you so much, and please enjoy the light novel. Volume 4 of Wise Man's Grandchild. It took me a while to convince Ellie who caused a strange misunderstanding to occur. I've never heard of people with such hobbies in this world, their brain would be rotten after all. Seriously. Why did you think in that direction right away? Shin. But. You're always together. I feel like you're doing something other than playing around. Ellie? Certainly. Shinkan can follow the difficult talks of his highness. Alice. That is so. He can see through a lot with just one word of his highness. Thor. Alice. Thor. Why are you joining? What if you worsen the misunderstanding? Don't say stupid things everyone. If you learned magic from Shin, you can understand. His head is slightly strange. Augusta. Why are you speaking ill of me? Shin. I'm praising you. Melida Dono's story alone has made it possible to use the current magic. Just what is your head made of? Augusta. That's a foul insult. Dot well, I just hope the other party is not another woman. Ellie, your way of ascent is strange. Shin and Augusta, they're in sync. Mary, even Mary got in on it. Dot Shin Kun. Is that so? Sicily. Sicily too? Shin, Mo, you made Sicily think of strange things. I won't do that. Shin, but. Sicily. Dot then, shall we prove it? Shin, A. Eh, Shin Kun? Sicily. I embraced Sicily, and got closer to her face. Hey, not in a place like this. Mary, oops, I just, shin, oh, oh, Sicily, that was close, I was about to do something terrible, terrible, in front of everyone like this, Mark, Mark, you don't have to say a thing right, shin, we need a mosaic after all, Rin, or U, Sicily slash Ellie, this is dangerous, I am likely to be attacked before the ceremony, I think Ellie would have understood by this, Shin is madly in love with Claude, there is no room for another person to enter, and I'm out of the question, Augusto, ah, uh, I, I understand, Ellie, Ellie who became slightly red was convinced, it was a gamble but it's worth it, M, Shin Kun, M, Sicily, oh, I'm sorry, Sicily, Sicily also turned red and hit me repeatedly, wah, what is this? So cute, ha. Huh? This idiotic couple, I'll continue talking alright? Augusta, ah, my bad. So, when will we go? Shin, let's stop the joking around here and do some serious talk. If possible, I would like to go tomorrow but. Is that okay? Augusto, I have no problem, but is that okay? Won't there be a celebratory feast for becoming a crown prince? Shin, it's a festival for the people. Even if I'm not here, it's no problem. Augusto, is it like that? Gus sure doesn't make a fuss with everyone, and it'll probably be finished in several days. We can return before the celebratory feast ends. Augusto, indeed, then we will go from tomorrow. For the time being, the camp will be temporarily suspended. Shin, suspending the training camp. What on earth are you talking about? And going around each country. Ellie, ah, that. Gus explained to Ellie and Chan. I want to go. I also want to go. Mchan, we're not going for fun you know? Augusta, I mean, Nisama will talk to the foreign kings. And Shinanichan is free. I want to sightsee a foreign town. Mchan, certainly, if everyone will come with us, there will not be a more qualified escort, so it will be safe to sightsee. Augusta, eh? Us too? Is it not only your highness and Shinkan? The two of them alone is kinder. Ellie, is the misunderstanding still not yet resolved? Apart from that. Ellie are you also coming along? Augusta, I said this before, but if everyone is together, there is no safer trip. Augusto, but it's not a trip. Shin, Augusto Sama good luck with your talk with the leaders of each country. During that time, we'll go and kick up our heels. Toy Shin, Ellie is not a woman who says such a thing right? What did you do? Augusto, you're asking me? Shin, rather it's our women's group, Alice, Rin, Pi Pi. Alice slash Rin, TL, it's the whistling effect. When you're feeling guilty, don't whistle. Shin, Alice who imitated blowing a whistle quickly averted her eyes. That makes me so annoyed. It's not our fault. I think Ellie was originally such a woman. Rin, hey, that's cruel Rin. Watching everyone, it is a fact that I thought your relationships were enviable. Ellie, we've been calling each other by first names and there was no reservation in between during training camp. Look. Is it not Rin's fault? 
Shin, but the most I'm envious with is the interaction between Shin-san and Augusto-sama. After all, it's you, right? Augusto, seriously? Shin, if I withdraw here, Augusto-sama will be taken away by Shin-san. Ellie, that's a strange thing to vie for. Shin and August, they're in sync. Mary, I've had enough of that already. Shin, their roots are deep. What can I do to convince you? Hey, is that all right? After marrying Augusto Sama and becoming a crown princess or queen, I won't be able to travel freely anymore. Ellie, dot certainly, if that happens it will not be easy to travel to foreign countries. How about everyone? I thought you would like to take your long-awaited break but... I'm all right with it your highness. Me too. I want to travel to foreign lands. In the end, we confirmed Gus bringing Ellie and Mchan. I often forget, but Ellie will become a crown princess huh? So after the crowning, she will not be able to go to a foreign country casually anymore? It seems that it will be a big event. It has been decided that everyone will go, and we will serve as an escort too. It seems we're temporarily suspending the training camp to take a breather. It's not a problem even if we go sightsee as it's a measure to cope when a devil appears in each country. Also, we've already done it before. That said, good luck with the talk Gus. Shin. That's true but, when Shin's the one saying it, it kinda makes me angry. Augusto. Fufu, you've made fun of me until now, I should get some revenge for some of the time. Shin. Humphrey. You've got nerve. Will I make more fun of you from now on? Augusto. Gus. Are you? You serious? Shin. Yeah. Be prepared all right? Augusto. Wah, what is this? This feeling of tension? An unspeakable tension starts to form between me and Gus. Hi hi, leave that foolish rivalry, are you not planning for the trip? Ellie? Why es Shin and Augusto? Don't copy me. Shin and Augusto. They're in sync. Mary, like I said I've had enough of that already. Shin, repeating such silly gag twice. Don't be at Sukomi even if you have to say it, and just decide the travel plan. 1. All the trips became airborne with floating magic. Ellie who can't use magic will go with Gus, and Chan to learn the magic will go with me and Sicily while holding hands. I like floating magic because it's fun. Shin Anichin, Sicily san please take care of me. Mchan, Fufu. You're looking forward to it? Mhimsama. Sicily? Yes, des you. This trip is my first time so I'm looking forward it. Mchan. Dot, but it's not really a trip though. Shin, it's an opportunity, an opportunity. I thought it was pathetic for attending the training camp to get a long vacation. Mchan, is that so? Shin, also we decided to act in complete incognito. It's troublesome in various ways if they know your identity. There's also the possibility of being targeted. Since we're here, we won't let such a thing to happen, but it's better to reduce the risk. The inn we will be lodging at will also be ordinary. We can just come back every day through gate though. If such a thing is done, it will make the feeling of a trip disappear. Ellie, and, it was rejected by Ellie who wants to enjoy the trip. Well, on the final day we'll be coming back through gate though. Alright, this will be the rough plan. Augusto, plan or rather, an objective. After all, all lodgings are unplanned. Augusto, isn't that the real charm of a trip? Ellie, Gus also became defiant and started talking about the trip. Well, it can't be helped if just one person alone is stubborn. T.L. Change Ellie, greater than Ellie Elizabeth. There's nothing to prepare as there are luggage for the training camp. Then we will gather tomorrow morning at Shin's house. Everyone had it hard today. Do take a rest. Augusto, yes. Everyone. Shin. Claude. Augusto. What? Shin. What is it? Your Highness. Sicily. Dot take a rest okay? Augusto. Why oh you? Shin. Ho you. Sicily. Why say such thing at parting? It will become awkward. H.N. The two of you will have to assist me from tomorrow. Please take a rest to restore your physical condition. Shin bro. Augusto. Why oh you? Shin, this. Gus is serious. Augusto's armor is Shin's bro. I heard this for the first time. Rin, you're doing stupid things again. Let's return already. Then your highness, that's enough for today. Mary, yeah, good work. Augusto, hey, Shin, let's go home. Also, Sicily don't turn red. Mary, wait. Mary wait. Shin, I won't. Hey, Sicily too. Mary, a hey, wa, wait Mary. Sicily, in the end we were dragged by Mary and was taken out of the room that Gus was in. Curse you, 
curse you Gus. Sicily is embarrassed and won't look this way now. Just stop that already. This idiotic couple. T.O. that cry. The leading soldier San was holding his laugh. Coo, curse you. In the room of August where Shin and each of team members came out, August, Elizabeth, and three people were left. Ha. It finally became peaceful. Augusto, the cause of trouble was mainly Nisama and Shinanichin. Chan, it really is. That side of Augusto Sama can only be seen when he's with Shinsan. Ellie, oi Ellie, stop that Halra. Augusto, foo foo, I know. Shinsan is only interested in Sicily San. Ellie, then. Augusto, I am jealous because Augusto Sama can open his heart to Shinsan. Ellie, can I? Augusto, yes. However, Alice and Rin treated me equally at the training camp, so I understand Augusto Sama's feelings. Ellie, Elizabeth were with the ladies of the study group during the training camp, and asked the ladies to take an equal attitude and in an informal manner. Even so Elizabeth is the Duke's daughter. Normally even if that is said, the attitude will not change, but the ladies of the study group watching the exchange of Shin and Augusto came to agree to take an equal standing in the request of Elizabeth. I am a Duke of the highest nobility, no matter how easy I make it, they still have a firm attitude. Ellie, there's that. I was also like that. Augusto, in Augusto's case, he's of the even higher royal family. There's only the further Dicium, the mother, and the sister who takes on an equal attitude. I was glad, talking in the same standpoint as a girl of the same age, making a ruckus with friends in pajamas, shopping together in the spare time of the training camp. Ellie, dot were you doing such a thing? Augusto, yeah, that's why. I now understand Augusto Sama's feelings. It's only Shinsan who can interact with Augusto Sama like that. Ellie, everyone was told not to mind. Augusto, it's royalty. Something like that is unreasonable. Ellie, Augusto wanted to have the same attitude with everyone in the study group as he have with Shin but, indeed that wish did not come true. That's why, I understand Augusto Sama is happy with the interaction with Shinsan. Ellie, then why? Augusto, Shinsan is enviable after all. That's why I thought I'll give you some trouble. Ellie, dot Ellie had such a character? Augusto, oh, Augusto Sama also had such character, it's quite unexpected. Ellie, I knew it. Mchan, you shut up. Augusto, ah, uh, Ellie and Azuma help. M, who was clutched in the head by Augusto asked Elizabeth for help. Foo foo, Miss Good. There's also someone who treat you equally like Augusto Sama and me. Elizabeth talked while saving from Augusto. There's no such thing. After all, everyone in the primary school distanced themselves, and Augusto Nisama is mean. So I'm glad that Shin Anichin has become my Anichin. Mchan, Fu Fu, a gentle brother, Ni? Ellie, yes des you. Mchan, you guys. Augusto, ha. Don't run away. M Augusto, hi. Mchan, hey wait. Augusto, three people run in the room while saying kayak yeah. Since a while ago, the distance among these three people has completely disappeared. Our relationships changed a lot after associating with Shin. Augusto thought while running hard, and when Shin and everyone in Ultimate Magicians made a ruckus in Augusto's room, there were figures gathered in the ruined town of the old empire. Fuck. Fuh. Uh, what? What was that? Just. What on earth happened? Don't know. What was that barrier in the first place? Our magic couldn't get through. How many people passed through the castle wall? I don't know. No more than 20 people, only that much, and almost all of them were killed. What are those guys? They are monsters. Are there such guys outside the empire? They were the devils who attacked Swede's kingdom but were repelled by Shin and the others. They got drunk with their power and thought that if they attacked a small country such as Swede's kingdom, it would be a breeze. Therefore, they didn't take any measures and attacked head on. As a result, they were blocked in front of the rampart by Shin's defensive tool, and when they finally slipped through and started attacking Swede's kingdom, they were repelled by Shin and the others. They who were overconfident with their power as a devil, withdrew without being able to do anything. It was an easy victory against any soldier until they came. By the way, you said Erlshide. Oh, I did. Dot that means. Their reinforcement from Erlshide. Swede's kingdom also shares a border with Erlshide, so if we attack a country away from Erlshide, those guys can't come as reinforcements. Oh, I see. Great idea. HMPH, I'm the smartest here. I'll think about the strategy. Can you work fairly? Dot yeah. Some devils were wise, 
but he was not aware of the fact that the reinforcements arrived without much delay since they launched the surprise attack. Contacting Elshid and dispatching troops, it would take a long time to arrive at Swede's kingdom. The devils who have not reached this point thought it would be alright if they were away from Elshid and began planning the next raid. Going back in time, when the devils withdrew, there was a group observing the state of Swede's kingdom with far sight magic from a remote place. You few fufu, ha ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha! It was Shktrom that was holding his stomach rolling on the floor laughing. He left followed to follow the devils to see what kind of end they would have and enjoyed it like a fascinating show. However, it was only Shktrom who enjoyed it while the others who watched the situation were shivering. So that is. So that is Shin Walford. Miria. It was not just one person, Miria Dono. In total. A zest. Dot twelve people. Miria, even though they were originally commoners who couldn't use magic, can you easily defeat it like that? Zest, this. We should not oppose each other. Miria, that's impossible. Shktrom. Miria and Zest who stayed behind Shktrom tried to avoid the hostile feeling and the sense of crisis caused by Shin and the others who had easily killed the devils that attacked Swede's kingdom, but that hope was easily denied by Shktrom. W.H. Why, if we oppose those guys we will regret it. Miria slash Zest, that might be so. Specifically, it is doubtful whether or not I can even beat that Shin Walford. Shkdrom. Then why? Miria slash Zest, do they know our circumstances? Shkdrom, no. As for that. Miria slash Zest, probably. Then they would think this way, a group of devils instructed by Oliver Shkdrom attacked Swede's kingdom like that. Shkdrom. Certainly. Miria slash Zest, then. How about dispelling the misunderstanding? Miria slash Zest? The idea of Shktrom proves right. In fact, Shin and Augusto also thought the same way. One of the devils suggested to solve the misunderstanding to Shktrom who guessed that far but did not take any action. However, it will be impossible. Do you think they will listen to my words now? Shktrom. Well, that is. Miria slash Zest. Dot. Besides, I have no intention of doing that. Shkdrom, eh, why? Miria slash Zest, no it's nothing. Well then, we've already seen an enjoyable show, shall we go home? Shkdrom, yes. Miria slash Zest, nobody heard the muttering of Shkdrom. What he was thinking about, only remained in his mind. After that, Sicily sent me home. It's true. It seems it's not unusual for an aristocrat to do such a thing before marriage. But... Sicily doing that right away is somehow different. I think it's better to associate a bit more as lovers, to have our feelings for each other grow. So for once, I went to pick up Sicily and Mary once again and waited for everyone to come to my house. By the way grandfather, grandmother. Sicily. H.N. What is it? Merlin. Is something wrong? Marida. While we're on the trip to each country, you can use the mansion in Claudestown freely. Sicily. Our trip serves as an installation of gate and joint union for each country, and the opposite. While we're gone, you can go to Claude's town and use the residence however you wish. Eh? Is that okay? Merlin slash Marida? Yes. Shinkan and me are engaged after all. Grandfather and grandmother are family, so that's only natural. Sicily. Is that okay? The Claude Hot Springs feels good. Do you not mind us using it without reservation? Yes. The employees has already been told, and everyone was glad they can be of assistance to Hero's armor. Sicily. Then, since there are servants in the house, a frequent visit is not all that bad. Merlin slash Marida? Yes, by all means. Sicily. Then Merlin, I'll be counting on you. Marida. Dot. I, I'm not a horse carriage though. Merlin. Is that a common problem for people who can use gate? Grandma used a foot towards Grandpa who had some unwillingness. However, you can't defy grandma easily. Dot. Grandpa. Live strong. Ah, can we bring some servants in the house too? They should take work off occasionally. Marida. Of course, that's no problem. Sicily. Are you sure? Marida Sama. The housekeeper Marika San who stayed by the side asked, are employees welfare normally rendered unimportant? Sicily says it's okay, so there's no need to hold back. Besides, You've been taking care of us, so you should relax and go to hot spring sometime. Marida. I understand, then let me take up your kind offer. Thank you, young miss. Marika-san. Yo, young miss. 
Sicily. Since my engagement with Sicily, the servants of the house came to call Sicily, young miss. Not accustomed to that, Sicily's face turned red and became bashful. Ha, so nice. I also want to be called young miss. Mary. Mary's house is an earl right? Don't you have a fiancé? Shin. It's the house. Finding one's own marriage partner is the rule of the house. Mary. What kind of rule is that? That's unusual for an aristocrat right? Shin. In the past, there seems to be an ancestor who had an unwanted marriage and that person had a lover, so she ran away with him. As the ancestor was a competent woman, it caused a loss of talent. So it has been decided that marriage will not be forced. Mary. Sue. Such drama. Shin. Thanks to that our people find difficulty in searching for a suitable spouse. Nisama and also Nisama who are also struggling to find a partner. Mary. I see. They have it hard. Shin. That drama of Countess Messina. I wonder what happened? Everyone gathered to imagine what happened in the past of Messina's family. Shin Anichin. Good morning. Mchan. Good morning Chan. Which reminds me this is the first time right. Shin. Yes Desu. Anisama has been mean until now so I couldn't come. Mchan. Dot. I see. You may come any time from now on. You don't have to mind Gus. Uncle Dis also comes often. Shin. Yes Desu. Mchan. It seems she's been deceived by Gus until now and thus couldn't come. So I told her she can come any time from now on. Dot. I have a feeling that the Queen will eventually come too. Though I haven't met her yet. Good morning everyone. From today for this short while please take care of me. Ellie. Oh, good morning Ellie. It's sudden but here. Shin. What is this mantle? Ellie. It's a mantle that has the ability to control the heat. You'll lose a considerable amount of heat when flying through the sky after all, so this is necessary for that. Shin. A mantle for controlling heat. Just how much is it? Ellie. H.N. Because it's conferred by myself. The mantle is not that expensive. Shin. This mantle, everyone's battle garments they usually wears, the equipment of ultimate magicians have many abnormalities. Ellie. It is so after all, you'll get numb when you're with Shin. Alice. Everyone present nodded at Alice's words. I don't know the state of other houses magical tools are after all, and I haven't explored the general magic shop since my first stroll in the capital. There are a lot of magical tools in this house that I've never seen as well. Ellie, the toilet was shocking. Seeing that, our toilet at home is unsatisfactory. That I understand. That was shocking indeed. Do you have no plans on selling it? Because I will make pay a luxurious amount for the toilet. The function everyone is complimenting is the hot water cleaning function on our toilet. The reaction that everyone expressed when I showed it to everyone was interesting. Yeah, Shin, about that toilet, Tom said to sell it together with the establishment of the company in question. But what will you do? What happened to that company? After all, with Shin as the representative. The actual management was left to Sicily's older brother Lois and Alice's father. Wow, only the relatives. It's better to settle these kinds of things with relatives at the start because it's reliable that way. When the business improves, they can just hire new employees. Ah, I heard the story. Dad's salary went up and he was so glad. He. That's news to me. Instead of making money. There's something you have to do right? You don't have to do it all alone. Although I was also hired as an employee in my previous life, things like management are fields I don't have any knowledge in. The right man for the right place. It's like that. You, for humanity, are working hard. I understand, Grandma. Shin. By the way, what about the toilet? Marida. R. Tell Uncle Tom that it's fine. Shin. Got it. Is there something Merlin wants to add? Marida. Ho ho. Everything has already been said. Merlin. Gra. Gramp I understand your feelings. Shin. Dot is that so? Shin. You are the hope of humanity. Do your best. Merlin. Thank you. Grandpa. Then shall we go? During negotiations Gus is. The right person at the right place. Yeah. Then can I entrust him to you? Augusto. If it's Shin Anichin, it will be alright. Mchan. Okay. Then ultimate magicians. We are leaving, Roger. In addition, it's not a trip. Shin, don't says things that will ruin the mood. Ellie, and then, we took off from Ulshied Kingdom. Wah! It feels so good. Mchan, Mchan, you're tottering. How about you get more stable? Shin, like this desu? Mchan, you're skillful. Princess M Sicily? Ugh. 
Chan, you look like you're having a lot of fun. Ellie, what? Are you not having fun Ellie? Augusto, that's not it but I alone am being carried by Augusto's armor. I feel rather guilty, or embarrassed. Ellie, because we are bypassing voice through a link, we can also hear the conversation between Gus and Ellie. It's only me who's using anti-gravity aside from everyone. However, everyone else in the team uses wind magic to move. So comparatively we're flying freely within the sky, but Ellie who can't use that wind magic, has to have Gus carry her in a so-called princess carry to move. Because I'm negating the gravity, I am leading Sicily by the hand. Looking at the place Gus is intentionally holding, it seems Gus also wants it. Because it's tactless, I won't say anything. There will be three countries to visit this time. Swedes kingdom bordered the south side of the empire, and the eastern side of Ulshide, but to the southeastern part bordering the empire and to the eastern side of Swedes kingdom is the Dam kingdom. Located on the north side, bordering the east side of the empire is the Kanan kingdom and furthermore to the north side bordering the northeastern side of the empire is the Kurt Kingdom. These are the three places that we will be visiting throughout the trip. On the north side of the empire is the sea. This time we will pass through Swedes Kingdom, aim for the Dam Kingdom first, then we'll go around the country in turn from there. Because the Swedes Kingdom was damaged from the raid, there's rehabilitation to be done about the damage dealt by the devils, so we couldn't stop by to sightsee. Last time there was also a request for support and we passed through the border without stopping, but this time we'll cross over the border with the proper procedure. We can go by using optical camouflage, but that would make it smuggling, and it will arise questions of how Gus came. In that way we presented a proof of citizenship to cross the border of Swedes Kingdom, immediately left the Swedes Kingdom, and entered Dam Kingdom. Though it is a little late, but your highness, can I ask a question? Alice, what is it, Corner? Augusto, while going on foot to the royal capital across the border of Dam Kingdom Alice voiced a question to Gus. The devils to be frank are really not that strong right? I feel like we alone are enough to subjugate them. Alice, Alice's question is also reasonable. The current us are enough to subjugate the devils. But Gus wouldn't do that. That's right. But first of all we don't know where a devil will appear next. So I want to make a situation where we can counter them with other big powers including Elshide even if a devil's attacks. Augusto. But, we provided a communication device for that, so now we are able to rush right over right? Mary. Mary also took part on Alice's question. It seems that everyone had some doubts about this action. That's right. T.O. be honest, we can just whoop the asses of the devils. Then why? Alice? If we left it as it is. Elshide will be winning too much. Augusto, winning too much. At this rate, we would be subjugating devils as Elshide Magic High School organizes us to. Because the army that saved the world is too powerful, the other major powers may feel unnecessary envy and a sense of crisis. When that happens, a conflict between fellow humans may occur. For that reason, it's necessary that the other powers fight with the devils themselves and let them think that they should also save the world from crisis. If somebody can subdue a devil that's more than enough. Even if that can't be done preventing the attack of the devil, that would be a merit. Dot. If it's Elshide alone, the other countries won't take it pleasantly, so the Union is for giving a meritorious service in war is that it? Alice? The first priority for each country, is to protect the world. Not putting that responsibility in others' shoes by mistake. However, there's a possibility of it becoming a fire if the subjugation is done by Earlshide alone when all of the devils are dead. Augusto, although this matter concerns the fate of humanity, why is it being envied? Alice slash Mary, that's because they are a country, and they are something called humans. Augusto, without a doubt, even if you save humanity from crisis, there's always someone who envies you for it. It's a pain in the ass. Everyone who heard Gus's explanation became angry. What's wrong Shin? If it's you, what kind of shit is that? Comma, I thought you'd be angry with that. Augusto. Ah, I had some degree of expectation. Shin. Who? Probably the devils can be subdued by us alone. We can do it but. The neighboring countries who were frightened by the attack of the devils will appreciate it but. What will the other countries think who have no direct threat to them? Shin, Fumo, as expected of you. T.O. have made a prediction to that extent. That's true. Even if Augusto Sama explains it to me, I'm still a bit not convinced. I myself, 
knows it in my head but I sure also find it hard for my feelings to accept that, Digazeru, Thor and Julius who serve on the side of Gus which listened to the story, made a doubtful look. Honestly, I can't bear to save mankind who complains but, if such possibility exists, it can't be ignored. Well, I'll be including that in the negotiations with L's and Y's. It's not going to be that difficult. We arrived at Damn Kingdom as Gus said so. Welcome to Damn Kingdom. Can you please show your citizen proof? Ah, let's see. Are you done? If possible, we'd like to go after this. Way I, wait for a moment please. Seeing the citizen proof of Gus, the soldier in charge of entering the kingdom, went to the back and brought back a boss-like person. Citizen proof of royalty. Well, the citizen proof itself, the general term for it would be an ID card. I welcome you to come. This way please. Saying so, he passed through the back including us. Again. I welcome you. Your Highness Augusto. Yeah, sorry for the trouble. No, if the identity of Your Highness Augusto blows out at that place, it will become troublesome. A person who is very thoughtful. We've been traveling incognito, things would become a pain in the ass if he was revealed as the Crown Prince of Urshide. Then, I'll send a messenger to the Royal Castle. Is everyone also coming? No, it will only be me this time. Just in case. I'll bring these two escort with me. While saying so pointed to Thor and Julius, the both of them seemed to have expected that, and just nodded in silence. Honestly, the combat power Gus now exceeded the two. When it comes to hurting Gus, who knows what level of skills it would take. Although that is the case, if a country's crown prince did not bring an escort as is, there's a possibility of it being despised. It seems bringing an escort is for that. Dot. The three people's power is enough to bring the entire castle down though. While waiting at the royal capital's security gate, the messenger soldier came back with a pickup carriage. Then we will go. From which place will we meet? Nothing's decided yet. You'll know our position by magic exploration right? There's that too. See you later then. Yeah, we'll book an inn. I'll leave it to you. Gus said, while leading Thor and Julius into the carriage. Now then, let's decide an inn before Gus comes back and take a stroll on town? Yes des you. By the way, what kind of country is damn kingdom? Who knows? Shin, you're really ignorant of the world. Ho, oh, I'm sorry. M a? Ah, no, it can't be help if it's princess. M you're still small, and it's a foreign country after all. Really? Is it like that? It is so. It's because elementary school have yet to discuss in detail of foreign countries. It is taught during middle school. Dot. I neither have gone to primary school and middle school. Shin. Ah. Sorry. N ah, it's fine. So, what kind of country is the damn kingdom? Shin. Something about my past feels desolate, so let's advance the talk. Yup. The damn kingdom is small but historically it is considerably old and a major country. Anyhow, it was the head temple of creation god religion before ys sacred country. He, is that so? But because Y.S. sacred country was made and came to rule the country the head temple of creation god religion was moved to that. The cathedral of that time remain even now and became a tourist spot. He, is that so? Mchan. Yes, and also, the martyr Y.S. is also from this country, so the birthplace was known to the public. I want to go there. Mchan. Then, shall we go around the birthplace of Y.S. or the church after choosing a nin? Yes des you. Chan. For now, the action plan for Dam has been decided. Dam's cathedral. Let's stop any further and it'll feel dangerous. Let's search for an inn first. Since it might be a little expensive we looked for an inn for top safety priority, and took a place near the center of the capital. Too large room for eight people. Classified by gender. After that, we who have no luggage because there's a dimensional storage without delay dispatched to the town of Dam. As expected of the former head temple of creation god religion, there are churches everywhere in the city, there are a lot impression of people and the city is filled with ambience. Even so, it's the former head temple you know? How can you not know it? Because I heard no stories about religion at home. Eh? Is that the case? Yeah, because grandma is a realist. I am somehow made to manage myself instead of relying on God, and Grandpa is. Merlin Samo is from Grandma, in the olden days Grandpa was shouting God bring it on, so I heard. Dot. That, you better not say that in this country. Well, let's stop at this. Because of this reason, I also heard for the first time that Y.S. Sacred Country also gives lessons at its own magic academy. It's the house after all. I didn't even know there's a religion. A. Eh? 
Then, what will you do with the wedding ceremony? So, asked Cicely anxiously. Is it not done in the church? Tha, that's right. W-E-L-L do it in the church. Is it not done at other places? I heard that the shrine maiden Mykosan of creation god religion do the ceremonial occasion alone. No, let's do it on a church. There's no problem. Is tha, that so? Incidentally in creation god religion, the clergy is generally called shrine maiden Myko. This is to make creator god the father, or a mother, and to assume that is the child. One. Well. Within creation god religion there's also a job title such as bishop, cardinal, etc. Like this, we arrived at birthplace of wise. This here is the birthplace of the martyr Ys. Everyone who is a creation god believer looks at the house with a deep emotion on their face. It's surprisingly shabby. Hey, Mchan, don't say such things even if you think it is. Wha- I'm sorry. Hey, can you stop pouring water when I'm thrilled with emotion? Ellie? That's right. It destroys the mood. My bad. Sorry. But, it really is shabby. Well but there really is such birthplace like this. In my previous life I saw from TV the birthplace of a famous person, but it was pretty shabby. The birthplace of Martyr Ys became a museum, and Wise's Edge items or something was put. Well, it's merely some household goods or something though. The birthplace. Because the place was not that big, we immediately went around and it was decided to visit the church next. There seems to be several famous churches, but we going for sightseeing, so we decided to go the old head temple of Dam Cathedral. As we went closer to the cathedral, the amount of people increased steadily. As expected of tourist spots, there are a huge amount of people. That is a little strange. The last time I came here, there weren't as many people. He, is that so? Then why is it so crowded? Don't ask me. Ah. I see it. A big cathedral can be seen at the direction Olivia pointed. The vicinity was crowded with even more people. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, there's just too many people. What's with all this? At the same time when Maria complained. Goon. 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 The cathedral's bell reverberated. And then, as the cathedral's entrance opened, the bride and groom who were holding a wedding ceremony came out. What? So it's this. This is the cause of the congestion. A wedding at the cathedral. It's an aristocrat. Something like this is not rare. It coincidentally happened at the very same day as our visit. Wonderful. I also want a ceremony like this. Mark, go for it. Don't say absurd things rinse an. Financially and also because of standing it's impossible. Enraptured about holding such ceremony, Mark hastily called out to Olivia. Thinking about it. Where will Ellie and Gus hold the ceremony? Obviously that will be at the Irshlides Cathedral. It seems the wedding ceremony is decided to take place at Irshlides Cathedral. The royalty traditionally hold the ceremony there. Not to mention, it's a wonderful church. The cathedral in the royal capital is also amazing. It's sad I haven't been there. It's wonderful you know. It's not very far behind even when compared to this damn cathedral. However, it's not a tourist attraction because of the historical background difference. Should we go when we return to the kingdom? Looking at Sicily, she's holding my arm and absent-mindedly looking at the ceremony. After all, how can you not long for a ceremony as grand as this? Sicily do you also want a wedding like this? Eh? No, that is, I yearn for it after all, or perhaps, should I say it's enviable? Fun. I see. Then, Let's do our best saving the world and holding a ceremony like this. Shinkan. Oops, its effect seems instantaneous. I'm moved with a tight embrace. While stroking the head of Sicily gently, I watched the situation of the wedding ceremony, and swore to save the world once more. TSK. Did the Ryuju say something? I also want to say something like that. We also have to go to places, and look for an outstanding partner. Ha. A sigh was heard from the single ladies. It will be alright. I think. After looking at the wedding ceremony at Dam Cathedral, we took a walk to Dam Kingdom Capital, and we looked around a few churches. The churches felt like a historic churches, and everyone seems satisfied. Ha! Ah. That was great. After taking our lunch in a cafeteria, we talked about our impressions of the churches we viewed earlier. This country is famous for its churches. What are other countries famous for? Shin? Even if I didn't know about Wise. Aside from the major countries, I yet to learn small countries at the Magic Academy, so I did not even know the names. That's right. Next the Kanan Kingdom is famous for its fabric. Ellie, livestock, is also thriving. It seems there are more sheep than the kingdom's population. Sometimes sheeps turn into a demon and unless they're strong, 
the shepherds can't do it, or so I heard. A macho shepherd. Rin, it seems to the point that even Rin can't endure and has laugh. She is laughing to the point where she is trembling. The hair of the demonized sheep is used as armor material because of the confined magic power. Since there are a lot of sheep, there are also a lot of sheep dishes. He, everyone is well informed. Shin, I think Shin is the only one unfamiliar. Look, just until recently, Walford Khan was in solitude. Dot dot there's something about everyone's sympathetic gaze that makes me annoyed. Shin, it seems they've heard stories of my upbringing from grandma during training camp. When I was a child, I was absorbed in playing alone. And I didn't consider it at that time, but it really feels like a pitiful and lonely childhood. I didn't particularly feel that lonely. Shin, in exchange, ignorance was born. Now you've been able to make friends with everyone, right? Right, and I've already achieved one of my goals in school life. Shin, goal, making friends. Shin, dot. Ara, those sympathetic gazes again. What's wrong? Your face looks like you've just participated in a funeral. Gus, when I am unable to endure sympathetic gaze of everyone, Gus, who finished the meeting, appeared. Oh, good work. How was the meeting? Shin, since the case of Swede's kingdom has already been brought to attention, I directly jumped to my proposal. Gus, I see. Then I wonder if the other two countries are also similar? Shin, probably, they got information from an ambassador of Elshide with the communication device. There's no doubt that information is known in the other two countries as well. Gus, then, there won't be much trouble. Shin, yeah, but what's wrong with everyone? Did something happen? Gus, no. When they heard the goal of my school life, this happened. Shin, goal, are you a guy who knows nothing of common sense? Far from knowing common sense you're just breaking it. Gus, that's not it. Shin, then what is it? Gus, making friends. Shin, dot. Gus, ara. Gus who also doesn't have any friends even made a sympathetic gaze towards me. Don't lump me in with you. Although I indeed don't have a friend in a sense of equality, but I have Thor and Julius, and a lot of other acquaintances. Shin, Shindona resembles the perfect image of loneliness. I feel very sympathetic, Digazeru. Even Thor and Julius. Well. It's because I was immersed in practicing magic and the making magic tools. That's why I don't feel lonely. Shin, all alone. Shin Kun. I will be together with you forever, Sicily. Sicily insisted very hard but. It's true that I didn't feel lonely though. Grandpa taught me magic. Grandma taught me on making magic tools. Michelle Sand beat me up and go hunting in my free time you know. What's more when I return. Siagnichen and Chris Nietzsche were always quarreling, so there was no room for loneliness. Shin, what's with that dreamlike environment? Certainly. There's no time to be lonely with such environment. Wah, Shinanichen is amazing desu. Mchan, it seems they finally understood my feelings. If I get lonely, it seems only grandpa and grandma will feel bad. That I will not permit. Now that everyone understood, shall we decide what we're going to do from now on? Gus. We've already gone around sightseeing, but what will you do? Do you want to explore the city with Ellie? Shin, fume. What about you Ellie? Gus, certainly. Please. Ellie, oh, oh, then Gus and Ellie will do that, as for the escort. Shin, do you think that is really necessary for me now? Gus, Otto, he said it confidently. Okay then, you two go and have fun. Shin, you fufu. Date. A date for the first time. You fu fu fu. Ellie. Oh, Ellie is grinning. Which reminds me it's the prince and the duke's daughter. So these two are not usually alone together. What about everyone else? Shin. We women will go around the city in a group. We want to buy souvenirs. Uh. As for me. Olivia. Olivia, you want to go with Mark right? We won't obstruct you. So, sorry. Olivia, don't apologize. I feel like running away. And another overcast has sprung forth. What about Thor and Julius? His Highness says he does not need an escort. How about us men go wander around? Are you fine with that? Fredona? I think if it's Fredona then he'll go and pick up girls. Digazeru. What picking up girls would be nice. However, we'll have to go back to the inn at night. In other words, only Tony will go and pick up girls. And then come back at night. Will Mchan go with us? Shin, is that okay? That is. Won't I be a nuisance desu? Mchan, that's what a child is. That's right, Mahamsama. Let's go together. Sicily, yes desu. 
Chan. After this, we each do our own action, and it was decided we'll return to the inn in the evening. Afterwards, Gus and the others who finished lunch each set out to the city. Well, shall we also get going? Shin. Yes, Sicily. Yes, Desu. Chan. We took a stroll around the town again. We already went around the churches some time ago, so this time we went around the various souvenir shops and enjoyed the open air. During that time Chan linked hands with me and Sicily and she seemed to be having a lot of fun. Fufu, you look like you're having fun, Mahimsama. Sicily. Yes Desu. I haven't walked around the town hand in hand like this before. Chan, she's a royalty after all. She can't just walk around a town freely. You don't go around the royal capital with your school friends Chan. Shin. Yes Desu. Everyone is also a child of an aristocrat. It's an empty pipe dream to take a stroll around a town freely. So I can brag about this to everyone. Chan, that reminds me, when I walked with Gus for the first time in the royal capital, I got a similar reaction from him. Shin. Was it also with hands linked together? Chan, can you not say something so disgusting? Shin, pfft. Ahohaiha. Sicily, ahohaiha. It's disgusting desu, ahohaiha. Chan, roughly like this, we enjoyed walking around the town. Ara, there's a huge crowd over there. That's true. I wonder why? While walking on the way, there was a crowd for some reason. Encountering such a scene when walking is also a thrill. I thought and looked closer. You. And here I was acting all modest. Huh? Which part of you was being modest? That face is of a playboy. It's impossible. Oh well, no matter how you put it, you can't deny it. Out of the question. Yo, you lot. It was our women's team who was in the center of the fuss. I got the gist of it. He tried to made a pass but was refused, and that seemed to make him go on a frenzy. Hawawa. The sisters are in a pinch desu. Mchan. The ladies? It's more likely the Shin. Dot. It's that guy who's in a pinch. Sicily? Even in the royal capital in Earlshide, it's common knowledge that attack magic should not be used in the city. But, if it's for self-defense, well then, shall we go elsewhere before witnessing a tragedy? Shin. I agree. Want to buy grandfather and the other souvenirs? Sicily. Yeah. Mchan will also buy a souvenir for Uncle Dis or your mother, right? Shin. A. Eh? Um. Will it be alright to leave them alone, Desu? Mchan, it's fine. Sicily, gah, ah. Forcing your way is just. And I heard a scream which seemed to belong to the man involved. Hawawawa. Mchan, Maria and the others should be a little more graceful. Shin, hi ha. Sicily, since everyone is cute, I guess there will be a lot of people who'll try to take advantage of them. But that way of refusing, I can't blame them. Since it's a group of only girls, it'll likely cause unnecessary trouble if we were to call out, so we hurriedly left the place. Oh, is that Mark and Olivia? They seem intimate. They're holding hands Desu. We saw the duo, Mark and Olivia, this time. Just like other couples in town they were walking around the town holding hands. Although it's a date, they're acting very naturally since they've been long acquaintance as childhood friends. It really is very helpful in their relationship. Ah, it's Sanasama and Delian. Ara, Fufafu, Elisan seems to be ecstatic, isn't she? Yeah. We also saw Gus and Deli, and Deli seems to be really enjoying it. It was the right thing to do to let those two go alone. It seems that they're also childhood friends, and act natural to each other but their circumstances are a bit abnormal. Would it not cause trouble if those two were recognized as a country's crown prince and a duke's daughter? They seem to be enjoying each other so we did not voice out to them, and we also took a walk around the town and bought souvenirs for grandpa and the others, and just when I was thinking about going back to the inn, we discovered a new crowd. Don't tell me, is it Maria and the others again? What do we do? Just as I was thinking that the fuss was caused by Maria and others, Maria called out to us. Ara? Maria. Then, what's that crowd? If it isn't Maria then who is the originator of this mob? While thinking that, we came closer. Hey, didn't we called out first? What are you talking about? It was us. Bullshit. It was us. Hey. Um. That quarrel. We, just want to go back to the inn. Just stop it already, Digazeru. You guys be silent. Yes. Tony and the others was at the center of the fuss. And the opponents of the quarrel are a group of young lady-like, elder sister-like, and hunter-like women. Dot. Why are they causing trouble alternatingly? Maria and the girls before. Apparently, 
Tony and the rest seem to be the one who's called out. However, it seems they're fighting the group that first called out. Nevertheless, the aim of each group is so clear. Dot. Let's leave them alone. Right. We can't handle nine women. They should just divide one person to each group since they know their aim. That's not so simple. Why? It's pride of the woman. And what pride is that? They'll probably escape before long. Let's go back to the inn first. Yes. Sorry, Tony, Thor, Julius. Even I can't save you. Please don't leave us. Q. Sorry. I'm sorry you three. T. O. Me. I have no courage to butt in in a woman's fight. The cry of Tony and the others who noticed us was cut off with a bitter memory. It's always fun if I'm with Shinanichan and the others. I made Mchan become like this. Dot. Should I apologize to Uncle Dis? While thinking about that, I walked towards the inn. Oi, who's that guy? He's only with cute girls. Th. There are six of them. The current us, removing me there are six girls. And it's only different types of beautiful girls. And it seems like they all serve as my girlfriends. Q Fafu. Hey, Alice. Alice, who was amused by the gazes directed to us by the single men, hugged my free left arm. Fuck. Fa up. Die. Explode and die. Why is there no woman who approaches us like him? No, that last one is not quite right. Did Alice and Ichan also wants to hold hands with Shin and Ichan? That's not the case. Their response was so fascinating, I just couldn't help it. Alice san, can you please stop your joke right now? Who? I, I understand. See, Sicily's smile is scary. Shinkan? There. There's nothing. Is that so? Then let's quickly return to the inn. It feels like Irene San's appeal is gradually coming out. I wonder if the day will come where I'll be like Cecil San. Shinanichan, you're like father being scolded by mother. Dot. Can you please not say something so accurate, Chan? In the end, after all the various troubles, the exploration of Dam Kingdom came to an end, and everyone returned to the inn. You're late. What were you doing, Ara? Everyone has already gathered. Welcome back. Dinner will come soon. Eh? Are you guys not with Freed? It was Gus and the others who returned earlier that greeted us. A system was established to eat the inn's meal in the dining room, so Gus and the others are there. Oh, we joined on our way back, but we went our separate ways. Tony and the others will come back soon I guess. After Maria said that. Tony and the other three people rushed into the inn. Hey, you are terrible. You just abandoned us. That's right. Everyone is so heartless. We were in a lot of trouble, Digazeru. Tony and the others who found us came at us and ranted. Then can you three? Can you jump into the middle of a fight between nine women? Ah, uh, th, that is. Of course. They can't do it. Dot. It's impossible for me. Dot. Right. Sorry for being angry. No, I wanted to help but. I'm sorry. That is. Shindono, I also went too far. Indeed, that's impossible. I sure was very horrified. Digazeru. We, after encountering the terrible events earlier, comforted each other by licking the other's wound. Don't keep standing there and just sit down already. You're troubling the other customers. Gus, who was not at the scene, voiced out a complaint. Kuso, that's because you were not at the scene. Besides that, what is it that even Shin's hands can't beat? Ah, just a while ago. Tony and the others were called out by women. While saying that, I looked over Tony and them. We three, we were just eating at a food stall and was choosing a souvenir for our families and girlfriends though. And just when we're about to return, we were called out. There were three pairs at the same time. So, three girls took the lead. But they began to argue about which group called out first. It had such intensity. And before long, the girls began to fight each other. Dot. A woman is really scary. Fighting? Such a thing actually happened? We, well we skillfully escaped. In the opening when the fight started, we used the flash magic taught by Shindono. I strengthened my body with all my power and escaped. Tha, that's such a great escape. Dot. You've been in a lot of trouble. I'm really thankful you taught us such useful magic Shindono. I didn't really teach that magic for this scenario though. I love girls but I don't want to see anything like that ever again. Tony earnestly muttered then let out a sigh. But if it's freed, I thought you would have had experienced such a scenario. At least once or twice. That's a misunderstanding, Corner San. Ah. Sorry, I just blurted it out without thought. Because I usually manage it well it never happened to me before. Give me back my apology, you'll be eventually stab. Really, ha. Huh? And why were you guys also involved in trouble? We saw Maria and you guys being hit on by a playboy. You, you, 
You've seen it? I only heard a voice of fighting back though. You guys also. Isn't Shin's troublesome nature contagious? Dot. Maybe that's it. I, until now have never met such trouble. Me too. Me also. There are various bad experiences. Eh? You're kidding right? It's not my fault right? Dot. Eh? What? Seriously? More likely, Maria in our first meeting, was caught up in the same kind of trouble. Like I told earlier. I'm also being careful to avoid such trouble. Though unexpected, this happened. It's my first experience. I say sure, it's my first time to be the one being hit on instead, Digazaru. A, Ara, am I becoming more and more like air? Fumo, it's apparently because of Shin that we're getting into trouble easily. Everyone, from now on, you should be careful. Yes, Dot. Is it alright to cry? It, it's alright Shinkan. I don't think of you as such. Sicily. Sicily's gentleness touches my heart. Why do fun things only happen when I'm with Shin and Ichin? And Chan's innocent thoughts pride my heart. A contagious troublesome nature. As if there's such a thing. After being accused for nothing. The next day, we headed to the prosperous Shepherd Kanan kingdom next. Just in case. I went back to Earlshide once at night to check if there was any information of devils invading. But there's nothing for now. Even so, it's a pain going back and forth every single night. Should I somehow make a wireless communication device? Shin. You, are you thinking about enigmatic things again? Not at all. More than that, Kanan Kingdom is famous for its fabric, right? Yep. That's right. Especially cloth made from demonized sheep is very popular. Is there something wrong with it? Nah. This mantle you see, though it has heat adjustment and optical camouflage, I didn't give an it heal. Heal? Dot. Ah, is it related to the case in Swede's kingdom? Dot. That's right. If the mantle can grant that, it will protect its wearer. But it is for that reason, that we cannot give its granted benefits to someone else. If this mantle will be given the same, auto heal, like the uniforms such as the combat uniforms, Sicily would have not suffered so much healing people in Swede's kingdom. Because all the humans in this world have magic power, magic tools can still be activated even if you can't use magic. Just like how Ellie is using the mantle, then Sicily wouldn't have to feel sorry for not being able to treat a severely injured patient, since they can be cured just by activating the mantle granted with auto heal. If it was just a uniform, we could take out the blazer. However it's a combat uniform. Sicily had to refrain from there. I'd like to give a new grant to the mantle. But the mantle is full of characters, so I thought I could grant healing to the lining or padding, but I guess not. Why not buy a new one? It would be good if I can use demonized spider silk to make the cloth. Or it won't be as good as the mantle or the lining. I have a hard time finding a cloth that can handle as many characters as the mantle. Is that so? That's why after arriving at Kanan Kingdom. I would like to look for materials for clothing that can be used in the new mantle, but is that okay? That's fine, isn't it? Kanan Kingdom is famous for its fabric, but they also have diverse fashion. That's why I also want to look around here and there. I, I see, girls shopping. Is this such a heartbreaking phrase in this world? When I said that, I'm talking about the feeling of exhaustion one gets when accompanying someone shopping. Sorry, but can we borrow Sicily, Olivia? and Ellie, we'd like to go around only with the girls this time, that's great news, only the women will go, that may be good, I was worried for Sicily when I'm going to look for the fabric, it looks like it's going to be more fun shopping with the other girls, is that okay with you Sicily, it's okay, shopping with everyone will be fun, Sicily not sensing my inner delight, said it's fine, Chan, I will also go with the older sisters, I'll ask you to take care of them, I said it yesterday, but it's easy for us to get involved in trouble because of Shin. Brace yourselves, understood? Dot. That harmonized neatly. While being immersed in hopelessness whether this perspective could be overturned, we crossed the border to Kainan Kingdom. Wah. It's sheep San, Desu. There are too many of them, Desu. Crossing the border on foot, we once again flew to the sky, in a vast land full of grass, we saw a flock of sheep. It's my first seeing from this viewpoint but, it's amazing right? Ah, a shepherd. Looks like Rin discovered a macho shepherd. She's been saying that sick and yesterday. Indeed he got a great body. He looks strong. I think he's actually strong. A demonized sheep is more or less classified as medium-sized demon. Unless you can defeat it, you can't become a shepherd. Seriously? They're like soldiers. Hey! Is that? While I was preoccupied by Thor's explanation of Kynan Kingdom's shepherd that became as strong as a soldier, 
Maria noticed something, and when I turn my attention to that direction, dot. It's at the moment we talk about the shepherd. As expected, isn't it Shin's characteristic to invite trouble? No, there are others beside me now. Just as we were talking about gaining the qualifications to become a shepherd. A sheep just turned into a demon. This is not my fault, alright? Putting that aside, there's a demon, is it better if we subjugate it? Or should we wait until the shepherd comes? Anyway, let's wait for now. If there's no shepherd in the vicinity, We'll subjugate it. All right. I cancelled the floating magic, then everyone came down to the ground, and went trying to see if there was any shepherd nearby. Duara, a man who was a lump of muscle jumped out from a nearby bush with and brandished a huge axe. A what was that again? The weapon with spear and axe together. <coughs> Halcyon. It's Halpard. Dot. You. So embarrassing. And I yelled that out very loudly, while blushing for mistaking the man's weapon. The man cut off the neck of the demonized sheep and killed it. He was a man with a muscular body, held a halberd instead of a staff. Truly, this man wearing a robe was different from a normal magician. Yep, no doubt. That is definitely a shepherd. Oh, are you guys travelers? Are you alright? Ah, yeah. We're alright, even though it's dangerous. Why are you guys in a place like this? That's not it. We saw a sheep turning into a demon. So we thought it'd be bad if there was no shepherd and no one subdued it. Oi, that's reckless. I can see you've just recently turned into adults, right? It's still too early for you to hunt demons. That's not the case for us. Look, just a short while ago, my enemy search magic sensed a sheep on the verge of turning into a demon and it just now became a demon, so I cast a wind blade magic towards it. The demonized sheep's neck was cut off in an instant and fell down on the spot. See? We're good, right? Seeing that scene, Shepard San was struck dumb. Ah ha 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 And he suddenly burst into laughter. What's with this lad? Aren't you strong? And you are a magician? Oh, yeah, well, Shepard San seemed to be having fun and was striking my back. What great power. My back hurts. I see, I see, but sorry, no matter how much you wanted to bring down the demonized sheep, ah. Uh, it's okay. We did not hunt the sheep because we wanted to. My bad. You're not supposed to handle a demonized shepherd, unless you're a nationally recognized shepherd, with qualifications like us. A, a, a shepherd has a national qualification. Is there such qualification in Kanan Kingdom? A, anyway we can't just leave the demon, so you don't have to worry about it. Is that so? My bad. Are you guys going to head to the kingdom after this? Yes. Why? Then, if you're the I recommend you to, Shepherd's Clothing Store. You guys have clothes and equipment for travelers after all. Eh, is that so? Thank you. What? It's nothing to be thankful for. You can secure a demonized sheep without effort. It should be me who is thanking you. Ah ha ha, then it's about time for us to go. Ooh, I am Gurren. If opportunity presents it, let's meet again. I am Shin, and if fate allows it, it shall happen. Saying so, I shook hands with Gurren San and left the place. Nevertheless, I got some good information. Shepherd Clothing Store, Ni. Nee. Let's go there. When we reach the Kanan Kingdom. At any rate, that was an amazing body. Yeah. He took it down with one blow. Maybe a shepherd is stronger than a normal soldier in this country. I'm talking about a nationally recognized shepherd. Perhaps Kanan Kingdom's shepherds might be elites. From the knowledge of my previous life, a shepherd's social status seems low but it might be different in this country. After finishing the encounter with the National Shepherd of Kanan Kingdom, we finally reached Kanan Kingdom. After having a similar exchange to the time in the Dam Kingdom entrance gate, we got an inn in the same way. Amazing. It's so fluffy, Desu. This is amazing, isn't it? Even when compared to what I use in the house, the quantity of the wool is much more. Like last time, we got a two big rooms for eight people, and when we gathered in one of them, Chan dived into the bed, said so, while Ellie who saw the amount of wool used on the bed, muttered so. There's more wool on the bed here than used by the royal family and the duke. Indeed the number of sheep is many times larger than the human population. Come to think of it, Shin Kun's house does not use any wool on your bed, right? What's this Sicily? You've already got to know Shin's bedding in his house, eh? Ah, that's not it. It's grandmother. It's when grandmother offered me to go to her room. What there? And here I was sure you already knew the comfort of Shin's bedding in his house. Mo, Mo, Maria, Sicily and Maria are playing around. 
But grandma's room? What were you doing in grandma's room? Grandmother, it seems she hurt her back slightly when training, so she asked for treatment. Grandma, you're already old, so please take care of your health. So I lied down on the bed and treated it, and at that time, I noticed that the mattress was different. What is that? Grandmother also said she does not know. Ah, that. I found that material on a low repulsive tree skin in the forest. I gathered them and laid it on the bed. Cork was also the skin of the tree, but apart from that, there was a softer, low repulsive skin to peel from the tree. I longed for a low repulsion bed in my previous life, so I made the mattress first. Low repulsion? Can you sleep in that? It's amazing. I tried lying down because I was asked to give it a try but I almost felt asleep. Really? What can I say? It felt like my body was floating or being wrapped. Tha, that much? By the way, the bedding on top was really light. But why is it so light? Eh? Even though Shin Kun's house is rich, there's a reason on why Alice made such a doubt. This world's bedding is mainly made of wool, the more it is, the more luxurious it is. Because its amount was amazingly low, Ellie and Chan were surprised. Then, when the quantity is larger, the bedding becomes heavy. Light bedding is generally cheap in this world. Ah, that's because my bedding is not using wool. I heard that a while ago. Then what are you using? Feather. Bird's feather. Everyone is looking at me with dubious face. In this world, the effectiveness of feathers are still not yet known. Well, you should try it someday. You'd be surprised. Is that so? Well, I think Sicily will soon experience it. Maria. Leaving the bedding situation of my house aside, we move towards our true purpose in this country. The female team went to shop, and I decided to go to the shepherd's clothing store as told by the shepherd. Grant San. Everyone's mantle including Gus's had already been kept by me, since I wanted to process it immediately. Wolford Kun, is it alright to come with you? When I was leaving the inn, I was called out to buy Mark. That's alright. Are you also searching for materials, Mark? There's that, but I'm interested in what material you would choose and what kind of processing is done for it. As expected of the only son of the workshop, he seemed to be very interested in my manufacturing methods, and I'm the only one left. So can I also join? Suits yourself. Then, shall we three go? In the end, it was divided into a male team and female team. After asking a person in the inn for directions, we quickly found the shepherd clothing store. I was told that this clothing store is quite famous in Kanan Kingdom. There's not many fashionable clothes, but there's clothing necessary for travel, and all the clothes use sheep's wool. Also, as the owner is a national shepherd, the clothes are in an abundant stock. It's great that I was informed of a good store. The store has exactly what I want. While on my way to Shepherd Clothing Store, I window shopped the other stores, as expected of Kanan Kingdom. There are a lot of clothing stores and fabric stores. The shop we saw earlier is a specialty store for men, isn't it? There were several clothes I wanted while having a quick look. Then shall we go back? I also found some nice clothes. Good. Then shall we? In this way. We made a brief side trip while aiming for the shop, and the store we arrived at. T slash N, it's their real destination, the Shepherd. It's huge. This is amazing, isn't it? It's four-story building, isn't it? I'm sorry to say this, but it's bigger than the workshop in Mark's house. The site area and also the number of floors. We immediately set foot into the Shepherd clothing store. Welcome. The store's interior, compared to the store we've gone to earlier. It was different and overflowing with luxury. The clerks and also give off a refined aura. Anyway, because the store is vast, finding the things we're looking for will be hard. I should ask Clark San to guide us. Um, excuse me. Yes, how may I help you? I told her my purpose for coming to this store and asked if there's any fabric that fit the requirements. Will the material be used for the lining of the mantle or padding? Dot. Ah. This is the mantle. I'll take a look at it. I gave my mantle to Clark San to let her look at it, and let her take care of it. This is. It's very excellent material. By the way, I granted it with eight characters. E, eight characters in a mantle. Because we'll use the mantle, toughness is a top priority. There are not many that can grant a large number of characters. Since you're already using an excellent lining, then I'll only have to increase the padding, but summer is hot, is it not? Ah. You don't have to worry about that, because that mantle, is an effective air conditioner. I understand. However, 
There's only wool of a demonized sheep that can grant magic. That's fine. Can you process this many pieces? I took out everyone's mantle which added up to 13 including Ellie and Chance. Th this many? It's a total of 14, right? Can you do it? I don't mind. If that's the case then the price. I'll give them a discount. Oh. Owner. Owner. When the store clerk tried to total the materials and processing costs for the clothing, someone from behind spoke. Ara? It's similar to what I heard a while ago. Ah, as expected, it's current san Ooh, I see you came right away. I welcome you, Shin. You're an acquaintance of the owner? Ooh, this Shin is amazing. He killed a demonized sheep with a simple magic shot. Ma, magic shot? Are you such a high-ranking magician? High-ranking you say? Is it not just a sheep at most? You are ha ha. You're such a guy after all. It seems like you're unsatisfied with the rank of demonized sheep. Taking a demonized sheep so lightly. Eh? It's just a sheep, isn't it? Even if it's classified as a medium size, it's not like it's a wild boar or a wolf. While I was thinking about it, I was pulled on the sleeve by Mark. In Walford Kun's case, it might be just a demon sheep at most, but, generally, a medium-sized demon is an object of considerable threat. Well, because recently we're taking on targets like a tiger or a lion, my sense is also getting slightly strange. Ooh, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. That's so. I guess if such a high-ranking magician were to have an equipment manufactured at my place, our store's prestige will also go up. Besides, you've also hunted the sheep. Your shop, eh? So. The national shepherd that owns the shop is Grant San. I thanked you for having hunted the sheep, it may be little, but I thought of reducing the price and introducing you to a store. And so you introduced your own shop? I was lucky. I'll thank you for that then. I am saved since there's a lot of options. Ooh, then the material and processing costs. How about this much? Oh, owner. Oh no. That's mostly just the production cost. And there's also the processing costs. Clark San made a fuss and shut off Grant San. You just be silent. Then, how about this? The clerk San who a while ago was running wild became exhausted. Ah, are you okay? Th this is my request. But are you sure? Won't you barely have any profit? Profit is not only earned by money. If it's Shin and the others, you'll become a magician whose name will soon become known. If we process Shin and the rest's equipment, when you become famous, we will earn a huge amount of income. Gurren San said so while grinning and laughing. Cool, Gurren San is super cool. I understand. Then please do that. We will do our best in order to meet Gurren San's expectation. Ooh yo, do your best. While laughing with a gahaha, he took care of the processing of our equipment. According to Clark San's words, the manufacturing will be done by tomorrow, so we decided to pick it up before we depart. That's good. Clark San, you survived didn't you? I, I, I was lucky. I was prepared for a bigger expense. Even so, isn't it a good thing? It is cheaper this way. Mark questioned. I certainly have never heard of such things either in this world. Isn't it fine? Instead of a billboard, it's cheaper this way. There is merit to both sides. If later we can raise our name and reputation, that would be good. No, I think we have plenty enough of fame even as of now. In that case, wouldn't it be better to put an enterprise logo? Dot. Won't that become something like a uniform then? Let's just think about this later. Besides, the mantle itself was bought from a store at the royal capital of Urshide. For the time being, we were done with our goal in this country, so went to shop clothes that we would usually wear as we went returning. Since I'm not thinking of granting magic for casual wear, I'm just choosing casually. I still had a good amount of money left. So I went and looked around at the diverse genres of clothes. How was it? Will they be able to manufacture the lining? While we were browsing the clothes, Gus and the rest who finished with the talks joined us. It seems that the state of the meeting was roughly the same as Damn Kingdom. Since there's nothing special to note, three men were added and we went around the shops again, at lunch at a stall, and also finished buying souvenirs. After we finished, we returned to the inn. Phew. Ooh, shopping is fun but it's really tiring. Indeed. Even I didn't think shopping was this tiring. Can you please also accept me from shopping with the girls? Mark and Tony also agree. Gus is unlikely to come with it as they're in a standpoint where it's impossible to do something like shopping with the fiancé. The two of them it seems. I have been to shopping several times with Sicily in Claude's town. Dot. I'll just say that girls shopping is the same anywhere you go. By the way. 
When will we pick up the mantle? Tomorrow. I'm going to get it before we leave. I'll be borrowing the store's workshop to grant it magic. Understood. I'm back, Desu. It seems the women came back while we were talking about tomorrow's schedule. Because everyone can use dimensional storage, they were empty-handed. But who knows just how many clothes are packed in that dimensional storage. Ha. Huh. That was fun. It was my first time going around so many stores. Let's go again sometime Ellie. We have an escort, so there's no need to worry. Foo foo. That's right, isn't it? Let's go again sometime. I also want to go, Desu. Don't worry m, we'll also bring you. I did it. Hooray. Dot. The women sure are lively. We had other errands, so the time we went shopping with the women was short. But even still, it was quite exhausted. Dot. Let's stop the topic about shopping. I can't bear it if I ask to accompany them even if it is Sicily. A. Hey, Augusto Sama. What's wrong, Ellie? Augusto Sama, have you done any shopping today? Wah. The other side brought up the topic. Ah, yeah. After the talks, we joined up with Shin and the others and went around several stores. Is that so? Hey, Augusto Sama. W. H. What? Next time. Why don't the two of us browse through some stores? I. I guess. Ah, Gus's face is twitching. Um, Shinkan? Eh? Oh, oh. What's wrong? Are you also inviting me to go shopping? Um, here. I came across with it while shopping. I thought it would suit Shinkan. Saying so, Cicely took out a black jacket from her dimensional storage. Shinkan, you wear black jackets frequently, so I thought you'd like it. Cicely. Oh shit, I'm so happy. Is it okay to try it? Yes, please. And so, putting on the jacket, it's the perfect size. Un, it's cool. I like it. Thanks Sicily. No, I'm glad you like it, said Sicily smiling. I'm glad I also bought something for her. Sicily, I also have something to give you. Eh? Saying so, I took out a scarf from my dimensional storage. I thought it would suit Sicily. How about it? Wah, thank you very much. Sicily immediately spread the scarf and put it on her shoulders. Thank you, Shinkan. I'm so happy with it. I'm glad you like it. Shinkan. Sicily. Hey. This is the cafeteria. It's a public place. I came to my senses from Maria's Tsukomi. You. That was dangerous. We had been given a cold glare from the other customers who saw our exchange. M it's embarrassing to be seen like this here. Sorry about that, Maria. I was ecstatic from the unexpected gift. Oh. Oh. Sicily's senses won't return for a while. Sicily. Can you eat your meal like this? By the way, there was no particular trouble for us today, how about Ellie and the others? Yes, because it was a group of eight people, there were no men calling out. Phew. It doesn't look like we'll end without trouble as it is. Everyone should not let down their guard till the end. Yes. Damn. It's only natural to face it if there's trouble. It's painful not being able to say anything. Oh. Oh. And there's no support from Sicily. The next day. After being overwhelmed repeatedly, I went to Shepherd Clothing Store to pick up the mantle before we depart for the next country. Ooh, good morning. Good morning. We were able to manufacture the mantles. Thank you. I'm sorry, but can I borrow your workshop? Workshop? Is it? Yeah, I would like to grant magic to it at once. Clark San had a dubious face when I told her. But this time she had her eyes wide open. Are you granting it by yourself? Unbelievable, though you can use magic that much. Can you also grant magic? Well, yeah, who? Just leave the admiration Gurren San, I borrowed the workshop for the sake of granting auto heal and ended up granting all 14 mantles. Oh, are you finished already? Yes, thank you for that. Then we're leaving with this. Ooh yo, come again anytime. It, it's bad Gurren San. Just after bidding farewell, a young shepherd San jumped in with a pale expression. What? What's wrong? S.H. A sheep. What's wrong with the sheep? A sheep is. A large number of them suddenly turned into demons. W.H. What did you say? Where's the end of this? Well there it is. Trouble. Now that it came to this. That false mockery is becoming more and more credible. That's not my fault. It's not, right? Please say that it's so. My bad, Shin. Trouble just came up. I have to go. Ah. We will also go. Eh? No. I appreciate it but. Are you okay with that? Yeah, and if you participate in here, we should be able to make a name for ourselves, right? After saying so, 
Gurren San burst into a laughter after momentarily having a dumbfounded face. Gaha ha ha, you're certainly different. Then can I ask you for your help? Certainly, leave it to me. Wait, wait just a moment Gurren San. What are you thinking? HN, a hit's all right. Shin and them are strong. It's not just one or two you know. What can these children do? Although Gurren said that with confidence, we just barely surpass the adult age. Are you doubting us that much? A. Ah. No, that's not what I meant. Even without worrying, I have already seen Shin and the other's ability with my own eyes. It's perfect as a war potential. Rather, I'm more concerned of us being a hindrance. Ga, Gurren Sana hindrance? Oops. We don't have time to be talking and standing around. Then Shin, shall we go? I understand. Then, Chan and Deli will inspect the wall. Gus, are you going with me? Fume. Do you have any explanation for the people that work for the kingdom coming after? Okay, we shall escort them. An Isama being an escort, something is strange. Right. It's usually the opposite. Hey, let's go. What? Please wait. Well then everyone, later. Uh, well then, shall we go? Yes. Why are you so carefree? We're not going out to play. The young shepherd San who came, muttered so, but it's just a sheep, right? I don't feel any tension as our members can now hunt calamity class demons. Since saying it again is bothersome, I went outside the castle wall without saying another word. Aside from Grin San, there were many shepherd Sans scattered around. Oh, you came Grin. Much appreciated. Thanks Grin San. Many thanks. Oh. A shepherd with an extremely burly body faced Grinsan and simultaneously lowered his head. The only ones who lowered their head were the ones who were unreserved towards Grinsan. Even so, a group of muscled men with halberds in hand and wearing robes. This alone made it a terrible sight, and everyone seemed to have the same halberd. Don't tell me that's the proof of being a national shepherd. By the way, What's with the youngsters? An unreserved person with grunts and asked while a lot of glaring eyes were directed my way. Scary. Stop glaring, Barak. This is Shin. As for the current matter, he said that he'll help, so I brought him along. Ah, just informing you, this guy is a high-ranking magician, so there's no need to question whether he can fight. If you say so, I will not press any more, but why the extra help? Well, that's a natural question. Demonized sheep are handled only by a national shepherd after all. Except for soldiers, there's no merit in subjugating it. Well I got treated fairly by Gurant San. This is a repayment. Fu, fu ha ha ha. So it's repayment? I see. Oh? Thanks to that exchange, I'm no longer being stared at. They're here. It's a flock of demonized sheep. While talking to Barak San who seemed to be a friend of Gurant San, someone cried out. Oh. That's amazing. Are they all demonized sheep? I'm estimating there are 100. No, there are 200 of them. Don't falter everyone. Rather, just think of it as making money. T.O. the shout of Grinsan. The expressions of the shepherd sans changed. Everyone was watching the flock of sheep with a ferocious smile. Like I said, they are scary. Shin, sorry, but can you avoid fire magic that leaves damage on the wool? If there's a few scratches, because it is used to produce yarn. There's no problem if there are scratches present. You guys heard that right? You can use anything besides fire magic. Yes, a response lacking intention was uttered by my teammates. During this time, the flock of shepherds drew near. All right then, which one should I start at first? While contemplating fiercely, I fired magic towards the ground. Before the eyes of the flock of sheep, a pointed pile protruded from the ground. Me e e e. A dozen demons who were running at the vanguard were skewered and multiple sheep's cries of woe was heard. The shepherd's sands were dumbfounded by this scene. The succeeding ones are coming over. Prepare in advance. T.O. this voice, the shepherd's sands finally came to their senses, to respond to the sheep coming from behind to subjugate them in succession. Oh. That's amazing. A group of muscled men wielding halberds and hunting a sheep. We too, are subduing them in succession with wind blade and water blade magic. And so just like that, the flock of sheep was subjugated. Well, they are sheep after all. It's not proverb, but it's not like they're led by a wolf. Nevertheless, soldiers also joined in subjugating, but the shepherds are overwhelmingly strong. Our shepherds, as expected, the strongest people in this country? While thinking about that, unbelievable. I never thought it was to this extent. Really? Weren't almost all of them subjugated by those youngsters? Um. Uh, just before I was rude. The shepherd sands have gathered. Well, it's just a sheep. That's amazing to say but. 
what do you kids usually hunt for? Ha ha, well, isn't that good? With this much power, I'd believe you even if you said you were hunting demonized tigers and lions or something of that level. That would be expected. Totally. Ga ha ha ha. Ah, as expected, we're being recognized as such. Please say no more. When I was talking to the Shepherd Sands, Gus and the others arrived. Now then, there shouldn't be anything else. Can we finally depart? You save us this time. I'm Barak. Barak Crook. Ah, I'm Shin. Shin Walford. Barak San requested a handshake, so while introducing myself, I accepted his. Now that I think of it, I did not tell Gurren San my last name. Because Gurren San only called out his first name, I was also suspended to just introduce my first name too. Walford. Isn't that the same last name as that hero? He. Is he also famous in places other than Elshide? Obviously, the sage, Merlin Walford's heroic tale is widely read all over the world. I also yearned to be like him when I was a child. He, if Grandpa heard this, he would definitely faint in agony. Grandpa, ah, Merlin Walford is my grandpa. Wah, eh, eh, are you done talking? If so, we will be leaving. Ah, I understand. Well then, Gurun San, Barak San, please excuse me. Ah. We could finally depart. Next would be the Kurt Kingdom, and come to think of it, I still have yet to hear this country's exposition. While thinking such a thing, we left Kanan Kingdom. E -e -e -e. I heard a loud cry from behind. At last we leave the troubled Kanan Kingdom and head for the Kurt Kingdom, the last place to visit this time. By the way, what kind of country is the Kurt Kingdom? Shin. I remembered that I didn't hear about the last place we had to visit yet when we switched to flying after leaving Kanan Kingdom. The Kingdom of Kurt is a major producer of cereals, especially wheat. It seems that the food self-sufficiency rate exceeds 300%. There are many countries importing barley from the Kurt Kingdom. Because of that, wheat is cheap and there are many kinds of bread. Most types of bread made all over the world were born in Kurt Kingdom. Oh, you know exactly what it's like. Shin, because I learnt it all in secondary school. It seems that the mandatory education of the general public is nearly over by secondary school, because there was no geography, world history in the entrance examination of the higher magic school, I didn't study it at all. In that sense, Princess Miss studying geography in the field, is not it? Mark, I become sleepy during classes, but this kind of studying is pleasant. Mm -hmm. Are you studying properly? August, Roar. I got caught. Mark looked surprised when he saw him who was thrusting Gus with a stupid thing and was stupid. In Kurt Kingdom, the guru is more popular than the magi, August. Oh, is that so? Shin. Oh, it certainly is so. August. Well. Well, my grandmother seems to have invented a lot of things in the past, so it is not surprising that she is popular because of one. Shin. It's not like that, it's a more practical thing. August. Practical? Shin. I wonder what? Are magical tools involved? Well, I think you'll know as soon as you arrive in Kurt Kingdom, August. He didn't tell me this in detail. Mew. That bothers me. And as usual, we crossed the border, entered the Kurt Kingdom and flew to the sky. Oh, the breadbasket is different from the Kanan Kingdom. Shin. This is also quite a sight. The impression is so much different from above. Wheat carpet. The wheat field which still had days before the harvest, was not wheat, but like a green carpet, it was a barley field all around. This is amazing. I can also see that the food self-sufficiency rate is high, Shin. But there is one question. If it's this many, harvesting it will be difficult. Shin. Will you harvest this with human hand? That's related to the story from just now, August. Why my grandmother is popular. Shin. It's impossible for human beings to harvest this vast field right? August, that's impossible, Shin. I understood it then. In other words, Grandma developed a magic tool for harvesting? Shin. There is also a magic tool to cultivate the field afterwards. The Kurt Kingdom has many fertile lands, and wheat production has been actively done on them, although harvesting will have a personnel problem. There was a chance that it was impossible to increase the yield. Then the guru developed a magic tool to cultivate the field and a magic tool that simultaneously harvests and threshes, it became possible to expand the field and the yield was dramatically increased. That's why the guru still enjoys such a huge popularity. August, got it. They wanted to expand the area of the field. 
but the harvest does not catch up even if it expands. She developed a so-called tractor and combine for that. Grandma is amazing. Suffices to say, she was a mother of inventions. Even now I've heard from my father that half of the sales at Hague's Kurt branch are for cultivators, harvesters and their maintenance costs. Alice, making a magical tool that will serve the people. Marie de Sama is truly wonderful. I respect her more and more. Yuri, magic tools used for living rather than ones used for battle are better for the general public. Grandpa is a so-called hero, and Grandma is considered a friend of the citizens by improving their daily lives. I started feeling proud again for being the grandchild of those two. The grandchild of such heroes is insane and causes trouble all over the world. August, there are no troubles that I cause intentionally. Shin, I don't wake up trouble, it gets up arbitrarily. What will you do when you arrive at the Kurt Kingdom? Do you have any particular interest there? No, I don't think I do. Shin, I don't have a passion for cooking, and I don't have any desire to eat special rice, so I don't want to find rice. What should I do? Well, I want to buy some bread from Kurt Kingdom as souvenirs and then wait somewhere. I will return to the kingdom today. I want to finish this trip without any trouble. Shin. Dot you have already been involved in trouble from this morning. Maria, this is almost the end. And shouldn't you be quiet? Shin. As if I was running around causing trouble. However, there is no day when trouble didn't occur during this trip. Arriving in Kurt Kingdom. Gus went to see the king and the groups went to sightsee as usual. We will return home today so we don't have to look for lodging. We went to town for the time being. Oh. It smells good. Smells like baking bread. I'm hungry. This time there is nothing I would like to do, so everyone is looking around the city. When I got to the city, there was a good smell around. Just walking in the street makes you hungry. Ah, I smell sandwiches. Let's all buy one. When I look around. I often see people eating something while walking, like sandwiches and grapes. In this country this seems to be normal. Various shops full of sandwiches line up, and we are trying to differentiate each shop, such as the stall with mainly meat, vegetable main store, fruit main store, etc. The female team went to a vegetable and fruit shop, men bought sandwiches at the store which sells mainly meat. I bought a sandwich with cucumber and lettuce with various hams. I personally think that the combination between cucumber, ham and mayonnaise is the best. I I R, bacon, tomatoes and lettuce are the best, aren't they? Oh yeah, when but then there is the olives combination with onion. Olivia, yeah, but what about cheese with lettuce and ham? I I R, yeah yeah yeah. Eleven people claim theirs is best at the same time. Yes. Everyone claims their preference is the best. There is no end to it. The contents were sandwiched between slender breads rather than sandwiched between regular bread, so they kept warm and delicious while eating. While strolling through the city and eating, there was a bookstore on the street corner, and a picture of a young man and a woman was hung at the eaves. Oh, the Magi and the Guru. Alice, wait. What? Shin. Alice said such a shocking thing looking at a painting of a red-head woman that was somewhat fancy with its intellectual hanging glasses although it had a young and provocative smile. What is this picture of grandpa and grandma? Ha! Ah, it's Marie de Sama. So cool. They drew the heroes well. Even so, it is truly a Kurt Kingdom bookshop. There are more books related to the guru than the magi. It's not a one-of-a-kind book? Shin. There is nothing like that. As for the books about the magi and the guru, New books are issued cheaply every year. Although the first one is said to be original, they wrote an unknown backstory to a complete secondary creation. Now there are books of various genres appearing. Seriously, Grandpa, Grandma, it's become a serious thing. Well, now both of them are old now, but this picture is wonderful. They were old since I was born. Shin, since I was little they were Grandpa and Grandma. I will show you the old picture of my life. Did you come from Earlshide? bookstore clerk. Oh, yeah, but how did you know? While talking and looking at the picture hanging on the shop, a girl from the bookstore spoke to us. Because the Anna Chan over there was talking as if he saw the two recently. The story goes that the two of them, returned to Earlshide with their grandchild. Even if you are from Earlshide I thought you knew about it. B. Clark. Oh, so that's it. Is that story known to foreign countries? Huh? You saw those two? How envious. We want to hit you because you're so lucky. People who overheard us gathered around me. Everyone is praising grandpa and grandma. M spoke up when I was feeling a bit irritated. Shinana-chan is embarrassed. 
Why, are you shy? Shinana Chan is Merlin Sama and Marida Sama's grandchild. At that moment, I felt the surrounding air stopped. Everyone organized the words heard just now in their heads and slowly turned towards me. Are the two grandchildren? Is she serious? Is it not a prank? No, I do not think such a small child would play such a thing. Besides, I heard the story of there being two people. Well. Shin. Go. Well. She is the grandchild's grandchild. Shin. It brought it all down at once. Ha. Sorry I'm sorry. Wait a moment. Signature. Signature. Shake hands with me. Please shake hands. A signature. Handshake. I have never done such idle like things. Then I held him, who was by my side, and we all ran away from the people who came in droves. Eventually everyone ran away. If we remained there it was inevitable we that would be questioned. Wow. Why did you say such a thing in such a place? Ellie. Ah. I'm sorry. Do not blame too much, Ellie, it's not that bad. Shin, Shin San, this is because of you. Ellie, huh, me? Shin, this fuss is surely made by Shin, Ellie, Ellie could you treat me better than that? Shin, huh, but I'm already at my limit. Ellie, in such circumstances, Ellie who cannot reinforce the body by magic, quickly reached the limit of her physical endurance, by the way and was being held by my side. I have to be a little rude. Alice, wait, Ali Alice? Ellie, we can go like this. Alice, among the group, Alice, who is the smallest, except them, picked up Ellie and started running while Ellie hugged her. The scene of a little girl holding a princess in a princess carry is a strange sight. Even so. Alice, what's the matter? Ellie, it's difficult with all the poyo poyo, poyo poyo. Alice, it is not on purpose, please don't stumble. Ellie, what are you doing? I feel that the number of people is increasing more and more. How troublesome. What do I do? Wolford, your mantle. Oh, that's right. Optical camouflage. I forgot about that. You can use the optical camouflage that is given to the cloak. Start the optical camouflage when you enter that alley. Roger that. And where the group entered the alley. Oh, where did they go? Such a foolish thing. They were just here to disappear like this. In that amount of time. They really are their grandchildren. Oh, I thought I'd get a signature for you. Can't be helped. Let's give up. Dot we managed to escape. Actually we started optical camouflage and stayed right in front of their eyes. Because everyone would see us if we started to move while in optical camouflage. Is everyone there? Shin. Yes. We did it. Ha. I my heart is racing. It's true. I know I can't see it. But. Now I understand the feelings of celebrities who are being chased. Shin. Everyone revealed their appearance after releasing optical camouflage. M was looking down while I was talking about this impression. What's wrong, Chan? Shin. Dot Shin Anna Chan, I'm sorry. M oh, apparently she seems to be feeling guilty about a little while ago. Although she is from the royal family, she is still a small girl, so there must have been no situations so far that made her pay attention to her remarks. Because of that it's cruel to blame. I put down, whom was I holding in my armpit? stroking her head and talking. You don't have to worry about it being such a stir because I am my grandpa's and grandma's grandson, Shin. But it was me that told them about it. Okay, M has messed up today. Didn't she? Shin. Dot dot yes. Well then, she won't make the same mistake again? Shin. I won't do it again. Well, M grew by one stage, didn't she? Shin. Yeah. Well, this case is over and I don't mind, so M doesn't have to worry. Shin, M, after staring at my eyes for a while, hugged me. I am sorry, Shin Anna Chan. M, yeah, let's be careful next time, Shin. Yeah, M, I was watching with warm eyes. Why are you in such a place? August, oh, have you finished? Shin, August, who has ended the talk, showed his face. I guess he has detected magical power, but I guess he never thought we were behind the alley. Oh, don't worry. I achieved cooperation between Elshide and Kurt. Why are you guys in a place like this? August. Oh, then will we go home now? Shin. Oi. August. If you ask about the reason, there was a possibility Gus assumed that M was getting scolded, which would be trouble, so I ignored the words of Gus and walked towards the gate. You guys. Are you hiding something? August. No, we just got lost while watching the trees. Shin. Dot dot really? August, it's true, Shin, you weren't caught up in some strange troubles again? 
August, is my presence assumed to be trouble? Shin, that was the case so far. August, suddenly the sound of a bell sounded in the royal city while we were interacting as usual and heading for the castle gate, then a soldier came running from the castle gate on a horse. Emergency warning, devils are attacking. All civilians quickly evacuate. Repeat, evacuate promptly. Screaming about a devil attack and an evacuation order. Dot the troublesome situation here is extreme. It seems like it. This is the third one today. What's going on? It can't be helped even if we are cleaning up Shin's responsibility here. Everyone will switch into combat uniform and intercept it. August? Yes. Well, it was fortunate for the Kurt Kingdom that the raid happened when we were here. August? It's a calamity for me. Shin. The Kurt Kingdom is making a big fuss and both the citizens and tourists are rushing to evacuation sites that are predetermined. In the midst of all that hustle and bustle, we entered the back alley again, started the mantle optical camouflage, and changed into combat uniforms. Their useful is such a situation. That's completely coincidental. After changing clothes, I'll go outside the castle wall. But what shall we do with Mandeli? And Ellie will be waiting on the castle wall. I will tell the Kurt Kingdom army to give them an escort. August, is it okay? Isn't it dangerous? Shin. They also have defensive magic tools, so if they devote themselves to defense it's probably not that dangerous. August, amazing. It's a special view. What are you saying? The devils are a threat for humanity. Shin and Achan can beat them all is looking at us with hopeful eyes. I cannot have a disgraceful showing here, Tony. Leave it to me. Princess, I will show you a cool sight. Shin, ha. I wonder if I'm not too nervous to fight a devil. Yuri, I'm the same. Yuri-san, even though I'm supposed to be an ordinary city girl. Olivia, people who have experienced a battle with devils once in the Swedes' kingdom all have the same relaxed facial expression. It's better than being nervous, but still, don't get careless because they did not have Strom the last time, it went only to that extent, but it's not necessarily the same this time, August, well said Gus, what are they after that made them attack again in such a short period, you ought to be careful if you don't understand, when we came up to the castle wall, a soldier came over, hey, what are you doing, were you not listening to the emergency alert, junior soldier, we came here because we heard it, where are the people in charge, August, what, are you saying, Junior, what's wrong? Senior soldier, a senior soldier who heard the exchange between Gus and the soldier came up to us. Oh, you were right there. August, this is Prince Augusto. Senior, what? Junior, saying so, the senior soldier kneeled. Please raise your head, apparently this seems to be a serious situation. August, a patrol soldier on the wall alerted us with a red signal bullet, and since then other signal bullets went up, so it's not a false alarm. Senior, okay, is it good or bad luck that a raid happened while we were in the country? Shin, it's certainly fortunate for the people of Kurt Kingdom, and unfortunate for the devils, August, um, senpai, this one is. Junior, oh, this is the High Prince Augusto and the ultimate magicians of Elshide Kingdom who are visiting our country, Senior, High Prince August, ultimate magicians? Junior, the soldier shouted, in obvious shock, and in a hurry kneeled as well, I see. Is this the soldier's commander? He leads a great army. He knew Gus and was in the right place quickly. I'm sorry, I was terribly rude. Junior, you did well thinking about the people. I don't care about formalities. August, oh, thank you. Junior, it was the same thing in the Swedes' kingdom, but I guess I'd like to quickly deal with soldiers from other countries. The soldier's eyes are moist. Well, we visited this country just to encounter this situation, so let us fight to the full extent. August, I appreciate your cooperation, but it's hard for us to leave everything to your highness. Senior, of course I also have work for you. Have you received defensive magic tools from Earlshide? August, yes, I am entrusted with a communication device. Senior, that magic tool prevents the devil's magic. It has been proven in the Swedes' kingdom. We will do the attacking so you are left with the defense. August, certainly. Senior, also. I would like to ask for the security of my sister and my fiancé. Well, that may be just a formality because they also have defensive magic tools. August, please leave that to us. I will protect them so well that there won't be a chance to use them, 
Senior. Mandeli are leaving this place while being led by a soldier of Kurt Kingdom. I heard M's voice telling the soldier who is leading them away from the outer wall the top of the castle wall is good. It's a special view. There is no sign of tension. Senior. That's because they trust His Highness, Shin. That's because Shin is here rather than me. August. Oh, are you the grandchild of the Guru? Senior. In this country Grandma really does come first. I can't bring Grandpa to this country. I'm afraid that he wouldn't be able to recover. Well, this is not really the place you'd want to ask about the story of the Guru. Shin. Yes, we don't seem to have enough time right now. August. Shin Walford. We are counting on you. Senior. A red signal bullet went up and a group of devils were approaching to a position where they could be seen. Well, would you like to make a declaration to the people of this country? Senior. Yes, certainly please. August. Then Gus cast the voice enhancement magic, making a declaration for the Kurt Kingdom. People of the Kurt Kingdom, I want you to listen calmly. I am Earlshide Kingdom's crown price, August von Earlshide. A group of devils are now attacking this country. Everyone is feeling the threat. However, you are safe, because I am in this country today with the ultimate magicians. August, not only the citizens but also the soldiers gathered at the walls to listen to August's declaration. You should have heard about the incident in Swede's kingdom. The devils who attacked Swede's kingdom were repelled by the ultimate magicians. I am a member of the ultimate magicians, as is Shin Walford, the grandson of the Magi. I declare, the ultimate magicians will definitely protect Kurt kingdom. August, when he declared that, woo oh uh, oo oo, soldiers from the castle walls also heard a big cheer from the back of the kingdom. The anxiety of the Kurdish people should be largely dispelled. After this, the only thing left is to repel the attacking demon. Devils are closing in. Start preparing for interception. All right. All units, prepare the devil defense. Everyone will be safe because the magic tool built here is made by Shin who received instructions on magical tool construction directly from Merida his grandmother. She said that when you activate the tool the devil's magic will be easily prevented. By quoting the popular guru, it seems that they gained the trust of the Kurt Kingdom soldiers. No one was worried. They're coming. Activate the defense magic tools. At last magic was released from the group of devils, but it was all prevented by all the activated magic tools. Oh, ooh, ooh, amazing. It really prevented it. Go, go. He truly is the grandson of the Guru. Everyone is making a fuss about preventing the devil's magic. But after all, I feel that their magic power is weaker than before. Aside from the devils, you are also perplexed, Shin. We will attack now, while they are upset. Tony. Oh, I understand. Shin. Is there no time to think about the strength of their magic now? First of all we have to punish the devils. Tony and me start the jet boots and jump down to right below the devil in front. Oh, ooh, 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 share, swinging the vibrating sword and cutting down the devil who was at the front. Tony and I started bringing down the devils one by one. And immediately after that, the magic of other members caught up from behind and landed on the group of devils, and the devil troops hit got blown up. The devils sporadically fired magic, but it was blocked by the magical barriers from the activated magic tools. In the past we paired up, but right now it's all right. While realizing everyone's growth, we were punishing all the devils who were around. It's them again. Withdraw. The same voice that was heard in the Swede Kingdom echoed, and once again the devils began to withdraw. It's still too early to escape. Half of the devils who have been attacking have not been subjugated. Even so the devils started to withdraw once again. What is this? He said to withdraw immediately as soon as they're intercepted. What's the meaning of this? Even so, to cut down their numbers even a little, I'll activate the experimental directional explosion magic. Because they are outside the outer walls, and not in the city, I can blow them away collectively. Wait Shin, that magic. Gus was talking about something, but I started up the magic in the middle of his story, and a big explosion occurred in front of me. I was able to catch only a part of them because they were too scattered. I missed more than half of them. Because of that most of the devils escaped. It's strange that they didn't hesitate this time. I will return alone sometime from Merlshide and check it. After all this there was no other assault from the devils. When I went back, everyone was holding a feeling that I could hardly understand. Everyone was watching me with animosity. What? Shin. Shin. You. I should have told you not to use that magic, August. That magic? Shin. Explosive magic, August. Why? Shin. Look behind you. 
August, as he told me I turned around. Kurt Kingdom is a country where cultivation of wheat is thriving. There are also many wheat fields around the kingdom. A battle in such circumstances. Is it that bad? Shin. Bad? This giant idiot. August. Gus was seriously angry at me in front of a wide area of a blow-off wheat field. When Shin blew off the wheat field and made Gus seriously angry, Another group of devils was watching it all with from far away with surveillance magic. Strom grabbed his abdomen and is cramping. It seems that the appearance of the devils being repulsed was just that hilarious to him. Milia had a different thought this time. The same frontal assault as before, was intercepted in the same way. But is the damage to the opponent this time zero? Milia. What's to say? There isn't much to lose? Zest. Maybe not as much as Strom, but I feel like I'm watching a comedy. Milia. Though there was a mitigating circumstance of Shin, who repelled the devils last time, this time there were many comments on the poorness of the devil attacks that were repelled by that Shin. Few U dot dot ha dot are they trying to make me laugh to death? Is that their plan? Strom, Strom, which finally recovered, muttered while catching his breath. It might be that they truly aren't stronger than Wolford, the way they are. Dot wow, I, Fu Fu Fu, aha, aha ha ha ha. Strom, the people who were watching Strom laughing hysterically, had an indescribable feeling towards the miserable form of their former companions. Dot but dot well dot it's good that they took care of this. Milia, oh yeah, it is a wonder that you can see those miserable figures as having magical skill. Does it work as an advantage when they contradict it? Zest. Those who became devils from the former comrades of Milia, agreed. Even so dot this isn't good. Strom, Strom who pretended to be cramping, muttered but was not heard. I grandly blew away the barley field. Gus was seriously angry at me and I got asked to honestly explain the matter at the king's castle. I feel like a student waiting for the teacher to get angry. Well, I am a student of the Advanced Magic Academy. And while waiting with my stomach in knots, King Kurt praised the fact that we repelled the devils and said that it was good that the damage was only in a part of the barley field, although I was honestly relieved. Gus didn't see it in that way, and promised massive price reductions of rental fee for the rented magic tools and a mass purchase of barley. The reason it wasn't completely free is because the Kurt Kingdom would feel a moral burden if they left all the devils to us while they sat on their asses protected by free magic tools. King Kurt pleaded not to have it for free. Ha! Huh. It will be tough to adjust the price of barley next year. King Kurt. Dot sorry. Shin. We left the king's castle of Kurt Kingdom and when Gus turned to leave the kingdom, he muttered, it is good to be powerful. But you should better learn how to wield that power, August. I'm really sorry. Shin. Ha ha. Well, I just wanted to complain a little bit. Changing the price of barley is almost cute compared to the troublesome things that could come from you. August. Wait a minute. What on earth is that supposed to mean? Shin. If it's you accidentally erasing one town, making a country disappear, destroying the world. August, am I a god of destruction? Don't joke like that. Shin, huh? X13, everyone raised doubtful voices. I was completely honest with that level of damage. August, strangely, I agree with his highness. Please don't inadvertently destroy the world. Maria, am I a demon king? Shin. Why is my evaluation close to the devil's? Why? Magic King. It wouldn't be strange to say. The King of the Wizards. Perfect for Walford. Alice. Magic King Shin. Rin. Stop it. Stop that. Please stop. Shin. There is no such thing as a game like Hero or Demon King in this world's history. Therefore there is no title like Demon King. Although, I would rather be called Magic King than the Demon King. Because of my thoughtless words, if left as is. I will become the first magic king. Only more embarrassing names can come from that. And so the title for Shin has been decided. Don't decide it. Please don't. Shin. Why? Isn't it good? The king of the wizards title is perfect for the magic king Shin. Oh yeah. I can't think a better title. Think of something. There is something. There must be something. Shin. Don't give up. Give up and I'm done for. Well, no matter how much Shin denies it, a title like that will spread naturally so it will catch on soon. August, I'm done. Shin, it's a lie. It's not easy to simply accept a title like that. Why in the world were there no heroes and demon kings in the past? I can't take having a title like that. Done from such a thing. Please open the gate soon. August, I was asked to open the gate, 
and clean up my act after big blows like that. Is there anything more tragic? Because everyone had to go home, there was no reason to refuse the request, and so I opened the gate in the usual security guard's station. Oh, your highnesses have returned. You came home. Congratulations. His Highness Augusto. Ultimate magicians who hurrah. The soldiers who hurriedly packed into our arriving place were ecstatic. What? Have you gotten a report already? August. Well, we were informed by an ambassador to the Kurt Kingdom. Ultimate magicians have repulsed the devils that appeared in Kurt Kingdom with zero human casualties. There is also a celebration of your highness's appointment as the crown prince, and the town is in a state of excitement. Guard John. Right. It would be better not to go out into the city then. August. Gus says he won't go out to town. I mean, were you planning to go out into the city? Originally it's supposed to be a celebration festival for Gus being sworn in as the crown prince. Won't it make a fuss if the person himself appears? For some reason, what Gus just said isn't sitting right with me. Naturally. Tio go out into the city in the middle of this fuss. Please also empathize with the ultimate magicians, guard Jim. Are we also? Sicily. People will talk. The names of the ultimate magicians as well as their identities are already known. Guard Bob, they are. What about personal information? Dot well, I don't know if that concept exists here yet. So the festival is not only for Gus, but also all of us? Well then Mandeli Nechan are okay to go. No such thing. August Gus harshly retorted. M's face is getting strange as well. For the time being, I reported about the visits to Uncle Dis. He said that we will get a long vacation while he contacts the other major powers and talks through various terms to realize the three-country coalition. Unlike the small countries we visited this time, it seems that it will take a lot of time to talk with each of the other two major powers. After reporting to Uncle Dis, eventually we were gathered in Gus' room. I can't participate in such a big festival. No way now that our names are known. Me, an ordinary town girl. Olivia. Olivia give it up. There is no ordinary town girl that can slay devils by herself. Yuri, if you think about it, it's awesome. We're a group where every member can kill devils. Alice, punish the devils. Rin, Shin, what happened? Sicily, dot both this and last time, weren't the devils too weak? And I don't just mean their magic. Shin, I felt that I wrecked the devils both this and last time. Meaning they were weak compared to devil cart. It was pretty difficult to prevent the magic of a demonized cart. I took some damage then. Shin. My hands got burned. Compared to that, the magic of these devils was easy to prevent with magic barriers. Their attacks are monotonous, and they have no cooperation. What's up with that? Shin. Even if you say so, only Shin actually faced off against Devil Cart, so we can't really know. But if Shin says so, then I guess it's true. Maria. Actually the actions of devils don't make sense. Although you can have confidence in your devil power and attack from the front without a strategy at first, but to do it for the second time after failing, did anyone feel the Strom's magical power? Shin. I did not feel it, Sicily. Me neither. If Claude, who is good at that sort of thing, and Shin and didn't feel it, that means he wasn't here this time. That's right. What the hell? Does Strom seriously aim for world unification with something like this? And why is there a difference in strength between devils? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Well, for now, we have no choice but to react to the devils, but if we can form the coalition we can take the initiative. This will remain mystery until then. But is that really all it takes? In the small countries around the former empire, as soon as we got in touch, we almost immediately left. But even if it was just for a moment, I saw the situation. There are not enough people to attack the old empire. Since the former empire's territory basically became a monster nest, it's difficult to advance an army with an insufficient number of people. We would be able to break through with brute force. But in the first place if we do that, we still don't know the location of the devil's base as Gus said before. Because the empire was counted in the former four major powers, the territory is massive, and if we advanced while searching it thoroughly, I can't imagine how long would it take. They may escape if we don't cooperate with other two major powers and attack in a single stroke with a large army. Demons are overflowing from the old empire, 
so many countries have devoted troops to its borders. That's why we can't attack with full strength. So now we can only react to the devil's actions. Otherwise we may lose a chance to strike them down forever. Because of that and my dilemmas, I'm waiting for the union's conclusion. But until the three country talks are closed, there's nothing to do. Your Highness, will there be any events happening? Alice, since Shin and Claudette's engagement announcement party and my swear-in ceremony both ended, there will be no more events like those. August, well I want to go out and have fun. Alice, Alice said that we should include fooling around in our future plans. Since we started the long vacation, we went to a training camp and practiced on devils. Rin, that's not fun at all. Alice, we went on a trip to other countries. August, that was just a necessity for your highness and Shin's errands. I want to go purely for fun, not for something like that. Alice, certainly we relaxed during training, but I wouldn't say we purely had fun. Yeah, this vacation certainly didn't have a holiday feeling. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go out and party somewhere. Alice, Alice Nechan is acting like a child. Buck, <laughs> D.O.B. told I'm acting like a child by Princess M. Alice, Alice got shot down by him. If it's like that, wouldn't it be nice to come to my family's territory? Julius, A. Hey, really? We can go to the Rittenham Resort? Alice, let's be honest, everyone is stuck on the devil conspiracy, so no one will say anything even if we go to the resort. Julius, cheers erupt because of Julius' words. Is it that amazing? A samurai resort? Doesn't Shin know? The Rittenheim Resort is famous even among aristocrats. So our royal family often goes to Rittenham for holidays, August, yeah, I heard a brief explanation before, but I don't know exactly what it's like. Shin, the resort is located in the mountains and near the ocean. It's very fun. Alice, ah, are the mountains really okay? Sicily, oh, Shin, grew up in the mountains. The more time you spend in the mountains, the more you get sick of it. I spent my whole life living in the mountains. So it's time for the beach. Let's go to the beach, so Shin can enjoy it, too. Sicily. Ooh, I get it Sicily. Maria. Get what? Sicily. We'll need swimsuits at the beach. Sicily. You just wanted to show your swimsuit to Shin didn't you? Maria. Oh, that's not what I intended, I just thought that Shin would enjoy the beach. Sicily. Sicily. Thank you. Shin. Shin. You overheard? Sicily, yeah. Swimsuits. I'm looking forward to it. Shin, enough already. Maria, Sicily is so cute, let me just say that much. Even though we were supposed to be talking about devils, we were fooling around before I knew it. I can only react to the devils, and I'm tired of wasting my attention on them all the time. The countermeasures are completed for the moment. So I wonder if it's okay to take a break now. It would be nice if someone brought their family. Fortunately or unfortunately there were many cancellations due to all this demonic turmoil. Julius, that's not good, isn't it? I was crying because of Julius though situation. By the way, there weren't parents in the training camp because that was a camp. The trip to foreign countries was more for business rather than relaxation. But what if it was a domestic trip? This time I will pay for the costs. I want to go purely to have fun, unlike the training camp. Shin, you don't have to do that, Julius. Don't worry about it, I can afford it. And you said that there were a lot of cancellations, Shin. That's true. But, Julius. Julius, I also agree with Shin's opinion. This is not for training but purely for fun, so it's natural to pay a reasonable compensation. August, I can also afford it because I earned a lot by hunting demons while in training camp. Alice, my shop's sales have been doing well. I have enough to afford it, Mark. It's also affordable for me. Everyone seems to have no objection to paying fees. Ha, huh. I understand, but I will have to insist on a discount, otherwise it will be my impossible for me to accept, Julius. Well, we have a compromise. Oh, Sicily doesn't have to pay. I will cover for her. Shin, well, that's nice of you. I refuse because the Claude family took care of the training camp for free, at least let me do this much. Julius, even to this, there seems to be no objection. So, you invited Claude's household as thanks for providing the training camp? That wasn't much. I just offered my parents territory. Sicily, well then, would this count as a gift from your future husband to his wife's family? Wife. Sicily, did it soften her up a bit? It will be our engagement celebration. Shin, is that okay? Oh, 
please invite Cecilia and Sylvia as well then. I will be reluctant to celebrate otherwise. Sicily Royce Santu. If it's a celebration it is rude to go against your wishes any more than this. I understand. Thank you very much for your kindness. Julius. Okay then, shall we decide on a schedule? When will we go and will we fly there? Shin. Considering the economic effect on the town it would be better to both go and return with carriages. Oh, Cecil San said something like that. When will we go then? Thus we decided to visit Julia's family territory. This time, we wanted to spend some time preparing, so we decided to leave in three days. You are going to go visit the Rittenheim Resort? Marida. Who? That's great. Merlin. I delivered everyone to their houses with gate because it would generate a lot of fuss if we walked home. Cicely said she wanted to return to her territory home after greeting the crowd, so when we were done I took her there with Maria. My grandpa and grandma, who seemed to have gone back to the hot springs, were there. We weren't having fun since the start of the long vacation, so we decided to go there because Julius says he will give us a discount. Shin. How the times have changed. Students are going on vacations at the Rittenheim Resort. Merlin. Oh, we can invite our families as well. Cicely. You have good friends. Merlin. Saying that it's okay to bring along our families, my grandma suddenly got tense. Cicely. Maria. If you decide to do so, you must prepare immediately. Yes. Cicely. What do we have to do? Maria. I'm going to have to approve of your swimsuits. Marida. Yes. Cicely and Maria brought out their swimsuits before my grandmother, surprising her. Dot the girls' swimsuits are kinder. Merlin. Let's give up. Is what I'd like to say. Marida. Imagining the situation that awaits them, the girls were trembling together. After all that, the preparation period of three days almost exclusively involved shopping. By the way it seems that ladies' swimsuits are quite naughty. This will to be fun to see. And it was impossible to gather everyone's families on the day of departure so some families aren't complete. Well, they all have jobs, so it can't be helped. Hello Shin. It's been a while. Glenn. Oh, it's been a while, Glenn San. Shin. There was a man who spoke to me like that. Alice's father. Mr. Glenn Corner. I never thought that my daughter would be taking me to the Rittenheim Resort. Glenn. Because I earned quite a bit by demon hunting, Alice. I guess so, I'll have to work hard from now so that I don't lose to my daughter. Glenn. By the way, thank you for accepting founding of my company. Shin. What the hell are you saying? The director of the newly created company is a hero. When I heard the story from Tom's representative, my heart and body trembled. Glenn. Mr. Glenn had a burning expression of determination. Glenn, you don't have to worry so much, Marida. Oh, Guru. Good morning. Glenn. Yes, good morning. If you have an unexpected failure, my shoulders are strong. Marida. Ha. Ah, that's right. Glenn. You don't have to stress so much. If you can't find anyone to imitate the magic tool that this child created, we can sell it on our own. Marida. That's. As a merchant. Glenn. My grandmother seems to have had some talks with Mr. Glenn about the starting a company, so I'm getting a bit worried. Other family members don't seem to be coming, but... Good morning, Shin. Sylvia. Good morning Shin. Thanks for today. Cecilia. The Claude sisters came. This time it was an invitation to all Claude family members, so there's quite a few people coming. Inviting family members to the Rittenheim Resort is a wonderful brotherly gesture. Sylvia. It's not much. Shin. Ha. Huh, can't you get them from Sicily? Cecilia. Hey. You can't have him. Sicily. Sicily grabs my arm and desperately protests. I won't make it. Shin. Perhaps I can show you this site during the vacation. Cecilia. It seems neither of them have a boyfriend. Guess he must be quite the beautiful man to make the cut. How about you show it to Siagnichan? Shin. I asked about Siagnichan, who belongs to the Royal Magic Division. Siegfried Samo is. Cecilia, good looking, strong. The specifications are great, but. Sylvia, he should already have a girlfriend. Cecilia, or, maybe because he's the head of the magic division. The magic division is full of men with a lot of charm. Sylvia, what is the Earlshide magic division doing? It's becoming a group of Eichmann. Leaving aside Cecilia and Sylvia, what is Royce San talking about with Grandpa? Merlin Sama, how can I be less transparent? Royce. It's the destiny of the Walfords. Merlin. I sighed in a remote place listening to that lonely story. Dot such a sad scene. As everyone gathered, 
Each family took their own carriage, and left for the Rittenheim Resort. Cecily wanted to go in the carriage with her family, but I was told Irene would like to ride in our carriage. The Rittenheim Resort is about two days of travel away from the royal capital. Horses wearing magical tools keep running smoothly. Even so, the horse carriage also has suspension, and the road is well maintained so it won't shake so much. Does the carriage have a leaf spring one? It's still been slightly shaking for a while. Can I somehow create a suspension system with independent springs on all four wheels? Shin. You. You're not thinking of something outrageous again? Marida. I think there are too many people that can read my mind around me. Shin. It shows on your face. So you have been planning something after all. Marida. I think that I can improve the comfort of the carriage a bit. Shin. It isn't powered by an engine but pulled by a horse, therefore I don't have to worry about steering, so I think I'll manage somehow. He didn't come today, but maybe I should consult Mark's father about it in the bin smithy when I return. Oh, because I'll set up my own business, should I consult with Roy San and Glen San first? As I thought about that, search magic detected something. Oops, they showed up. Sicily. Most of them are medium sized, there are also some large ones. Shin. So then you. As an example. Sicily. Are you scared for me? Shin. That is at least understandable. Sicily. While having such a conversation with Sicily, I got off from the stopping carriage. Ha! That's a huge group of large demons. Merlin. Dot are trying to poison Sicily as well. Marida. I heard the conversation between Grandpa and Grandma, but because the opponent is a mass of disaster class demons, I'm supposed to be their opponent. But today because everyone's families are here, I wanna do it. Alice, I want you to let me do this time, Tony. I will do it this time as well, Rin. Without lottery. Wolford, please, seriously please. Olivia, even Olivia insists she wants to do it. Where did the ordinary town girl go? Although they are just demons, their numbers are increasing more and more from a while ago. There are more of them than when I first sensed them. Also, this reaction. Because we're a group of this size. The demons must think it's a feast. Merlin. Because of that, this time there is no lottery. Everyone intercepts. Shin. Roger that. I'm coming out, August. Your Highness, please wait. Escort Rock. What's this? Surely you won't participate in the subjugation against such demons? Escort Frost. From behind. There's a disaster class coming from behind. Escort Iron. It seems that the guards have also noticed. T.O. Be honest. We didn't need an escort on our journey, but I was told that for the movement of royalty or aristocracy an escort was required, and so the escort knights and wizards are accompanying us. Well, they're pretty much only a decoration. The large group got mixed with the medium-sized group, and further disaster classes appeared. Even so, the number of demons increased a great deal. Still, the disaster class was scarce among them. Escorts have a mix of tension and despair in their expressions and the family members of the group are blue in their faces while their voices are trembling for such a thing to happen. Disaster class appearing. Cecilia. This was supposed to be a fun resort trip. Sylvia. It seems that Cecilia and Sylvia have never fought a disaster class yet, and they are giving up before they even try. I'm also going out, Tony. Such a thing, you. Daddy freed. Tony started preparing himself to fight as he talked to the knights. They must be Tony's parents. Daddy can just watch from here. Tony. What? How can you say that I should just watch my own son walk into his death? Daddy freed. Well, this is not a big deal, you know? Tony. What? Daddy freed. Well, just watch. Tony. Tony said that that as he prepared his vibrating sword. First of all, Let's wipe out medium-sized demons. Everyone casts with no chant at the same time. Magic lands on a group of medium-sized demons, causing a shockwave that shakes the ground. With this, the medium-sized demons were wiped out, and large demons were also somewhat thinned out. Although the smoke of the landed magic is still rising, we know the position of the demons by detecting their magical power. Everyone, save me a disaster class. There, a lion. It's not too early, I'm going in. Tony, oi. Shin, Tony and I activated the jet boots and jumped towards the lion. Ah, that's unfair. Alice, I hear Alice's protest because we went in first. Or ah, I'll get it. Shin, I will defeat this one. 
Tony. I activated the vibrating sword at the same time as Tony. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Suddenly multiple spells landed on the targeted lion demon. We backed up in a hurry, and when we looked back, we saw that Alice and Olivia were the ones that cast the magic. That was close. Tony. What happened to first come, first served? Shin. You two were being sneaky. I wanted it. Alice. You don't mean to say I shouldn't be using a sword? Tony. Me ooh, but my magic got him first. Alice. What are you talking about? It was my magic that got him. Olivia. It was mine. Alice. Mine. Olivia. That doesn't matter right now. Shin. Because they're being watched by their families, everyone is more into it than usual. All the monsters were blown away, and there are no traces of them left. Why weren't you trying to show off just now? Tony. Because I don't need to show off to my family. Shin. Tony and I returned to the group, and eventually everyone returned to their family. Everyone is stunned with their mouths open. What? Sicily. Sicily blew away a bear with a single blow. Irene. Alice. You have defeated a demonic lion? Glenn. My daughter. Tony's movements couldn't be seen. Daddy freed. To not be afraid of a demonic lion and boldly attack it from the front. Mommy freed. Families are astonished that we eliminated the middle and large disaster classes in a blink of an eye. Only Tony's mother is crying because of the impression of seeing Tony thrusting himself towards the demonic lion. She is truly a former knight. The points that touch her are slightly off. Is it that big of a deal? You guys. How did you become so strong? Well, in order to go against devils, it would be impossible if we couldn't do at least this much. Dad. Weren't I amazing? Alice. I'm too astonished. I don't know what to say. Glenn. Sister. What's the matter? Sicily. Sicily. You're good at healing magic right? Weren't you no good at attack magic? Sylvia. Yes, I am the weakest among us. Sicily. Oh, is that so? Cecilia. Yes, Sicily. The families asked a lot of questions, and everyone is kind of proud. Somehow, it feels like a class trip. Dot everyone. I'm sorry my grandchild changed everyone's children like this. Marida. No, no. There aren't enough words of gratitude that we can say after you trained our daughter this much. Glenn. Do you really mean it? Marida. Of course. As a parent, if they have this ability you can convince the world that they are a group that will save the world. Glenn. Everyone nods to the words of Glenn San. My child is walking the way to become a hero. What a wonderful thing. Mommy freed. Tony's mother said what everyone was feeling. Shady people who were hiding in the surroundings watched as the group finished the demons, which also served to showcase themselves to their family, and tried to depart again. Ultimate magicians. What a terrifying group. Otaku F. There's no need to say it. But it was worth the effort to prepare the battle you've all just seen. Otaku you. There is a gap between each of their abilities, but I don't feel any jealousy from them. Otaku C. I became a fan of the Ultimate Magicians, Otaku K. Me too. Otaku U. Let's create it. Let's make fan club. Otaku P. I agree. Otaku S. A strange thing was decided. What is spread out in front of us is the clear blue sea and the white sandy beach that seems to go on forever. The sea, illuminated by the summer sun, can make anyone's heart flutter. The ocean. May. It's natural to say that. August. After the planned two day travel, we arrived at the Rittenheim Territory. In the Rittenheim Territory, the buildings are all whitish, and it feels like a resort area. There is no samurai residence in sight. The first thing we did after arriving was visit the Lord's house. Upon arriving, the one who greeted us at the Lord's mansion was Mark of Rittenheim, Julius' father, who was even larger than Julius. Thank you, Prince Augusto. It has been a long time. Marco. Hello Marquis of Rittenheim. We will be very busy very soon, so we want to relax as much as possible before that happens. We will be in your care. August. We're sorry to hear that but please relax while you can. Marco. Well, I asked the Magi and Guru as well. Welcome. I am honored as an Earlshied citizen that I am able to welcome you too. Marco. Please take good care of us. Merlin. Yes we'll be in your care but you should be careful. Marquises shouldn't lower their heads to commoners. Melinda, even if you say that. I've heard that you two were offered to become aristocrats, but you flat out refused. Marco. Oh they have? Shin. That's the first time I heard about this. Aristocracy is just troublesome. Melinda. I have told Dissium many times that I refuse nobility. 
Merlin, certainly. Uncle Dis and Cecil San mentioned high-ranking positions in Earlshide Kingdom are very competitive. It doesn't fit Grandpa and Grandma who retired in a forest. Shin, please slow down, Cecily. Oh, yes, sorry. Shin, I have done many greetings before going to the training camp, so I am familiar with it by now. The Marquis had a brimming smile. Thank you for being Julius' friends and treating him as an equal. I appreciate it a lot. Marco, father, no need to be shy. Julius. Julius' way of speaking was inherited from his father. Does this way of speaking run in the Rittenheim family? He looks like an American professional wrestler. After greeting the Marquis of Rittenheim, we were guided to the hotel we will be staying at. As a hotel, there were cottages set up for each family and everyone was, was able to spend the day leisurely with their family with them. A samurai resort. There is no trace of samurai eyes at all. This is amazing, Melinda. Shin. You have great friends. Merlin. Ah, I wonder if this is okay? Shin. Yes, it should be a family per cottage, but Cicely is going to stay at our cottage for some reason. When she tried going back to the Claude family's cottage, Lady Arian told her to come back here. It's decided you will become Shin's bride, so you should get used to it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Melinda. Bride. Cicely. Cicely became distracted by Grandma's remark. Nowadays. She frequently indulges in herself in delusions. Your bedrooms will be different anyways. Don't forget there's a time and place for those things. Melinda. Oh, yes, yes, Cicely. Don't say that sort of thing Grandma. Shin. You won't sneak into Cicely's room in the middle of the night, right? Melinda. Don't joke like that. Shin. Ah dot ha. Huh. Cicely. Whoa. She turned bright red. I left frozen Cicely to Grandma and looked around the cottage. After checking it out for a bit, I decided to go to the beach, so I changed into my trunks and went to the sea. I've finished changing. Shin. You go ahead. We'll catch up later. Melinda. That was the reply that way from their room, so I went to the beach together with Grandpa. By the way, Grandpa is not wearing swim trunks but a shirt, short pants, and a straw hat. If he was bald and with his white moustache, he would look like a certain hermit. As we arrived at the beach near the cottage district, I saw a sight that I didn't expect to see. Shin on a chan. May. Oh, May you also came to the beach? Shin. How do I look? Shin on a chan. May. May, who is wearing a yellow one-piece swimsuit, made one revolution in front of me. You look nice. You're very cute. Shin. Ugh, I was praised. May. Enough. May. Please have a little shame. Ellie. Ellie said that while wearing a red bikini, shyness doesn't fit that appearance. Shin. You you. you. Please don't stare. Ellie. No, it is a bit surprising. I thought that you would wear a swimsuit with little less exposure. Shin. You you. you. It's because Alice said that this much is okay. Ellie. So this is Alice's fault. Gus. Do you like it? Shin. It's not that she is naked, so I don't mind. In addition. August. In addition. Shin. Dot I didn't have to go shopping with Ellie, so I can't complain. August, he muttered under his breath. What was that? Ellie. No, nothing. August, even so, they are a dangerous weapon. I feel like I can empathize with Gus. Oh, it suits you, Ellie. Rin. It wouldn't be far off if one stated that it was perfect. Alice. Alice and Rin appeared together. Alice is in a separate blue and white two-tone swimsuit. Rin is in a black one-piece. You guys. One of you guys chose something safe and the other. Shin. What? Alice. Unexpectedly, these swimsuits look the best on us. Rin. Yes, children's swimsuits really do. May. After May said that, they both became depressed. I have never seen such sad self-destruction. Oh, hello everyone. Yuri. Yuri said as she arrived. She ran here wearing a black bikini. She originally has a voluptuous figure. So when she runs in a bikini, you show off. Show them to me. Alice. Me too, Yuri. Rin. Kaya. Yuri. Wine. Wine. Yuri fell prey to the two chibas. Even so, it was still a pretty amazing sight. Shin. There's something coming out of your nose. I was surprised by a sudden comment coming from Maria, so I turned around. Oh, that's the swimsuit you went to buy with Grandma. Shin. Isn't it cute? Maria. She wore a pero around her waist on top of a green two-piece swimsuit, as she said, it suits her well. Yeah, you look nice. Shin. I'd like a boyfriend to tell me that that. Maria. It's very cute though. Well daughter. 
Chin. Oh, Sicily, you came. Maria. The moment I saw the appearance of Sicily who had finally shown up, I was struck by thunder. I was stunned at the beautiful sight of Sicily wearing a white bikini and looking very embarrassed. Oi. Don't just stand here like a fern and say something. Melinda. I finally returned to my senses after Grandma struck my back. Hey. That. Looks great on you. You look so. So cute. Shin. A. Oh. Thank you. Shin you also. Look cool. Sicily. Oh. Thanks. Shin. Say. Melinda. What is this? Whatever it's supposed to be, I'm super embarrassed. Shin. What about mine? Melinda. Yours? It looks good I guess. Shin. I felt the air cool down a bit, as she showed the girls her swimsuit. Certainly my grandmother has a figure that one would never guess is near 70, right? Her appearance in the swimwear only confirms that. You are amazing Melinda Sama. If I imagine my grandmother dressed like this. Yuri. You shouldn't compare her to your family members. Looking like this would be unreasonable for anyone but Melinda Sama. Maria. Ha. Melinda Sama is amazing. Alice. Everyone praises my grandmother's swimsuit. With a blue one-piece swimsuit, if one only looks at the body, it should not belong to an old woman. It would look more like a beautiful witch. Even Maria and Alice said so too. If you are sane, you have to stop yourself with all your might. Even if she is a relative, that's not my intention. I'm scared, but I can't say that. Oh, is everyone already here? Mark. Sorry we're late. Olivia. The last ones to show up were Mark and Olivia. What? Rin. An ambush from such a place. Alice. Alice and Rin muttered when they saw Olivia, who was wearing a pale light blue bikini. It was surprising. Damn it. She looks smaller in clothes. Alice. I was totally taken by surprise and the damage is huge. Rin. The Rin and Alice situation is very strange. Did reality break them? Although all the male members are here. No one looks better in trunks than in regular clothes. However, that is just how the world works. I have no intention nor want for describing the male swimming trunks, so I will just omit it. By the way, Julius's trunks aren't a loincloth. Samurai. Are everyone's families enjoying themselves? Julius. Yeah, they sent us out to play, so they could relax. Alice. My relatives were like that too. Rin. It seems like everyone's situation is similar. Everyone's families seem to be relaxing in their cottage. Unlike the group members, the families aren't as familiar with each other. Well, now that everyone's here, what will we do? Yuri. Since we came to the sea, we should go swimming. Shin. Shin. You grew up a mountain. Do you even know how to swim? Maria. You know there are rivers and lakes in the mountains, right? Shin. For that reason. I can swim reasonably well. However, at the time, I didn't swim for fun but to hunt. Well then, charge. Alice. Yay. May. Alice and May jumped head first into the sea. My, my. I guess I'll also enter the sea. What about you, Shin? Melinda. Yeah. Sicily, will you come with me? Shin. Yes, I'll go. Sicily. We headed towards the sea, but Rin would not move. What's wrong? Shin. I remembered a serious problem. Rin. A serious problem? Shin. I cannot swim. Rin. Dot. Huh? How do you manage to forget about something of that magnitude? I was only concentrating on choosing Ellie's swimsuit. Rin. You. Stu. Shin. When Alice and Rin get together they tend to get carried away. It would be shame if Rin was the only one that got left behind. Well, let's try this then. Shin. What's that? Rin. A float. Shin. I took out a floating ring from the My Dimension storage. As soon as I did, everyone had a blank expression on their faces. Do floating rings not exist in this world, even though there's a culture of swimming in the sea? How do you use this? Rin. Rin. Go through the ring. Shin. Like this? Rin. Yes. Now go into the ocean. Shin. Oh. Oh. I'm floating. Rin. It's a tool for those who can't swim. Shin. When I take a look at everyone, they all look astonished. What a breakthrough. People who can't swim cannot go into the ocean until they become proficient at swimming. That is until now. Even a small child could enter the sea with this. Could you lend me one too? I'm not very good at swimming. Ellie. Obliging to Ellie's request, I pull out another float. It's made of demonized rabbit leather. It's waterproof and light. It's not suitable for armor because it's not very sturdy. But it is ideal for floating rings. Hey, Shinkan. Me too. 
Sicily, sorry Sicily, I only have two. Shin, oh really? Sicily, is Sicily also a bad swimmer? It might not be a good idea for her to swim then. Instead, I have something like this, Shin. What? A boat? Sicily, yes, it's a boat made of the same material as the floating ring. Sicily, come on, why don't you get on this? Shin, yes, well, wow, it's so comfortable. Sicily, it is going to be pleasant just swaying with the waves and close to the sea surface. Well then, me too. Shin, R, whoops. Sicily, oops, are you alright? Shin, yes, I'm okay. Sicily, when I got in, the boat shook and Sicily fell down. Now that we are both in swimsuits, our bare skin is in close contact. Shin, you're warm. Sicily, Sicily is too. Shin, I feel close to her. Go to hell, you love birds. Maria, whoa. Shin, ick. Sicily, Maria went berserk and activated her wind magic. Because it was magic that created a gust of wind, there were no injuries, but the boat was swept away. So unreasonable. Shin, we we were blown away considerably. Sicily, well, moving it back can be done with magic and even if you go to the open sea, there is no problem. Shin, magic, is it wind magic? Sicily, that's possible as well, but this way is a lot faster. Shin, saying that, I put my hand in the water and activated water jet. Wow, so quick. It's amazing. Sicily, you think so? Shin, but how do you know a magic like that? Sicily, it comes in handy when you're fishing at a lake. Shin, you can fish too? Sicily, I'm getting tired of eating meat every day. Would you like to try? Shin, as I was saying that, I brought out a fishing rod I made from a bamboo-like tree that grew in the forest. Since the reel already existed in this world, I got Uncle Tom to buy it for me, eh? But what about bait? Sicily, I have that as well. Shin, I set a handmade lure on the thread. Do you want to try? Shin, yes, it will be my first time fishing. Sicily, the two people began fishing. Wow, it bit again. Sicily, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This one as well. Shin, instead of enjoying the tranquility of fishing, it felt like chaotic mass fishing instead. If that's the case you might think we would stop. However since we've already come this far, we can catch enough for everyone's dinner. If the fish continue to bite at this rate, we already have caught enough for everyone who came along. So I put all the fish in the dimension storage. We smell a bit like fish. Shin, true. Sicily, should we go into the ocean to wash it off? Shin, ah. That, actually I'm not very good at swimming, so. Could you support me? Sicily, of course. Come on in then. Shin, yes. Sicily, I accepted the idea without hesitation. It was a sweet thought. Now we are getting close while both of us are wearing swimsuits. Shin, please hold me tight. Sicily, yeah, okay, okay. Shin, it would have been better for Sicily to hold onto my back. But Sicily panicked and somehow ended up embracing me from the front. Oh, ooh, 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 soft. If I lost to my desires now we would end up drowning. So I continued to hold Sicily desperately. After a while, we went back to the boat. But Sicily's soft feeling remained on my body. I have no idea what happened to the fishy smell. Ha, ha. Is the smell gone? Shin, huh? Oh, I think it's okay. What about you? Sicily, it seems to be okay. Well then shall we get back to everyone? Shin, yeah, let's go. Sicily, because Sicily was desperate, she probably doesn't remember what happened a little while ago. I mean she is acting like nothing happened. While I was stressing about it, I moved the boat and went back to everyone. Oh, you're finally back. What were you doing so far offshore? August, no way. Did you? Outdoors. Maria, of course not. We were fishing in the open sea. Shin, fishing? Maria, look. Shin, saying that I pull out the fish we caught earlier in the boat. This is no longer at the level you would call fishing. Maria, well I never thought we would catch this much. Shin, what did you do about the bait in such an offshore place? August, I used this. Shin, saying that, I show them the handmade lure. What is that? August, a lure? Shin, a lure, it's a pseudo bait, you put it on the thread and throw it in the sea, then, by winding the reel. Shin, I was demonstrating while talking, then, look, one already bit. Shin, almost immediately a fish was hooked, everyone had an astonished expression, why? Can you catch fish with this method? 
because fish feed on fish smaller than them, the fish thinks that this is a small fish they can eat. Shin. This is amazing. It would be a huge hit if you started selling it, because there are many girls who don't want to touch insect baits, they may be able to sell in surprising places. There's the float and the boat from before and now this, it's just one thing after another. And for playing on the beach, I have things like these. Shin. I took out a beach ball. Rin. It went over there. Alice, leave it to me. Rin, yeah, eat this. Alice, I took out a beach ball and we started playing beach volleyball. Since there is no volleyball in this world, I briefly explained the rules. Although it's supposed to be a 2v2 competition, we are playing 4v4 because everyone is still unfamiliar with the rules. To be honest, everyone said that beach volleyball, which we started with a hastily built net, sounded a bit awkward. But they were curious and it got interesting after a few games. After that, everyone began to become absorbed into the game. Incidentally magic has been allowed, which caused some scenes like in cartoons. After everyone became engrossed in it, the sun was gradually setting. Ha. Ah, I am tired. Shall we return soon? Shin. Yeah. And. It's almost time. For dinner. Thor. Thor responded while catching his breath. Everyone else is worn out too. Ha. Ah, you guys. It seems like you're still children in the end. Melinda. Ho ho ho. Everyone seems pretty energetic. Merlin. I look at grandpa and grandma who showed up saying that. What I saw were grandpa and grandma who developed a light brown tan in just one day. Isn't it too soon to get a tan? Adding to that. He had sunglasses and a straw hat on with a black tan and the button shirt fully open. That was one terribly funky grandfather. Grandpa. What happened to you? Shin. Nothing. Tanning was always easy for me. As for the sunglasses they are a must for the summer sea. Merlin. Is there something like that? I thought that grandpa went and became impatient. Look, I'll be back soon. You go to the cottage and take a shower. Oh, what is that by the water? Melinda. Oh, right. Shin. I completely forgot about the net until my grandmother pointed it out. We've been on a sandy beach under a scorching hot sun. Eight at a tata. Sicily. Of course it will end up like this. Ouch. Q. Sicily. Sicily, who took a shower after me, seemed to be simmering on sunburned skin. A scream was heard. In the end it's just a light burn, so let's heal her later. Oh. But will a sunburn disappear because of healing magic? How should I know? It would probably be better not to use it if I'm not completely sure. If it becomes unbearable, I'll give it a go. There is a square inches the center of the cottage district, so we used it to hold a barbecue. Wow, Magi. What happened to you? Is this something you should worry about? Merlin. Would you please tell us? There is nothing wrong with me. Merlin, the grandfather who turned funky has become the center of everyone's attention. However, there was some dissatisfaction with his appearance. He truly is the magi, attracting everyone's attention with such a method. Royce, Royce and please don't try to imitate it. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Shin, and when I went to the royal castle for today's regular report, Uncle Dis was waiting for me at the security guard's station. Oh, mother. May. Oh no May. Are you behaving yourself? Julia. Of course. May. Yes, this wasn't the only one waiting. Uncle's wife. Gus and May's mother, the Queen, was also with him. Mother, you are late. August, you don't have to say unnecessary things. If there is such a convenient magic like Shin's Gate, why is it been necessary to travel in a dangerous carriage ride? Julia. What is your true reason? August, traveling in a carriage is troublesome. Julia, the queen confessed quite easily. I only met her a little while ago. You call my husband Uncle Dis. Then, please call me Aunt Julia. Julia, Auntie Julia. Shin, yes, like that. Julia, she said that and winked. The queen, Aunt Julia has platinum blonde hair tied up. She gives of an aura of a true queen. However, she is not just a person who stays locked up in the royal castle and has tea parties. But she also puts great effort into the citizens' welfare, not only planning and giving out money but also visiting nursing homes and orphanages in person. As a friendly queen who takes great care of the people, her popularity among the Earlshide citizens is high. The royal family is here including Uncle Dis. Well, that's why the popularity of the people is high. Your Majesty and Queen it has been a while. I believe that I am able to welcome Your Majesty to the very best of my ability. It is an honor. Marco, Amo, no need to be so stiff. We are all on vacation aren't we? 
Dis, you are so humble. Marco, phew, well, at least you finally calmed down. Dis, Uncle Dis started to relax after he said that. Oh, yes, Cook San, I caught some fish in the sea, would you like to prepare them? Shin, certainly, please put them there. Chef, I put the fish we caught in the tub he pointed at. Wow, this much? Chef, the fish filled the tub and it overflowed. I guess we caught too much. Mother, mother. May, what is it? May, Julia, look, I caught this. May, as she said that, May took out a fish from the different dimension storage. Is that different dimension storage? Julia, mother? May, oh, sorry, it's wonderful. Julia, ah he, May, but May, you can use different dimension storage. Julia, Shin Nichan told me it's convenient. May, Shin Kun. Julia, you can store anything in a different dimension. Isn't it convenient? May, do you understand the abnormalities of using different dimension storage at the age of 10? Julia, I could use when I was 5. Shin, because Shin is abnormal, it can be said that May is a genius wizard. Julia, don't say something so horrible. But is she actually a genius? Shin, for a common house this would be good. But if it's like this, May's suitors will be gone. Julia, it must be hard for the groom if the bride is stronger than him. I don't need to be a bride. I can hunt demons with Shin Nichan. May, is that so? Julia, I felt a little relieved when May said that she wouldn't marry. That reminds me, I don't really know much about this country's political marriages. I'll be hunting tigers like August Nichan. May, oh, that's right. Julia, even though she said basically the same line, my face twitched this time. It's been a while Julia, are you doing well? Melinda, Melinda San, it's been a while. Julia, it seems that Grandma and Re Julia are on friendly terms. The two of them started talking. Then they called over Ellie and Sicily. The wife of each family joined in and began teaching Ellie and Sicily, who will become wives soon, this and that. Well, the women are enjoying themselves. Shin, absolutely. August, when me and Gus got caught up in that, we just didn't fit in, so we went away from the circle of ladies. Once the vacation ends it will be very busy, so I want to relax as much as possible. August, the talks between the three powers? Shin, it will be a pretty big talk. I'd like to cooperate with those two countries while we still somehow hold the initiative. August, um, Shin, what's wrong? August, no, there is something that's been bothering me. Shin, what is it? August, after the second devil attack, I decided to talk about what was bothering me after returning to Earlshide. We've won two consecutive victories over the devils, and didn't even suffer any damage in the second one. Shin, other than the barley field you blew away. August, ugh, forget that, I'm concerned about the talk on the streets. Shin, what talk? August, right now, there is something being whispered in the kingdom of Earlshide and that is, the devils are not a big deal. Shin, yes, because we repelled the devils without too much effort, rumors like those were spreading around the kingdom, is that true? August, I heard a lot of such talk when I was shopping for this trip. Shin, it's becoming a tendency among the Earlshide people. That's a serious problem. August, concerning the three-country union, if we're winning like that, they may say that we don't need it. Shin, no. That's not it. August, oh, I got it. Shin, it would be scary if this tide spreads to the soldiers. In the Swedes' kingdom, ordinary soldiers couldn't do a thing against the devils. If one misunderstands that a devil is not a big deal, it won't end well. I just pray that won't be the case. While we looked at everyone who seemed to be having fun, the two of us had serious faces. Azen, bonus pick from the lane. Everyone is eating barbecue for dinner on the first day at Rittenheim Resort. If I put on a very nervous face, I would only make the others uneasy, so I returned with Gus and joined everyone for dinner acting like nothing was wrong. When we were about to eat our dinner, Uncle Dis made an announcement. Before I forget, Ultimate Magicians, are you guys alright? Dis, what's the matter, Uncle Dis? Shin, what is it, father? August, you guys saved two countries from the devils so far, and I heard that you have defeated quite a few devils while you were fighting. Dis, that's right. Shin, then it is decided. That's an achievement big enough for a medal, so we decided to create a new medal and award you with it. 
Dis. Now that I think about it, there was a rumor about that. But that wasn't what was worried about. I was more concerned with the gossip about the devils. Our child will be decorated with a medal? That's amazing. Really? Becoming respected. When he began saying he wanted to go to the Advanced Magic Academy, I was wondering how to rehabilitate him. Mommy freed. Among the parents who are rejoicing, Tony's mother had different thoughts. Rehabilitate. Physically. Now that you mention it. Aren't you forgetting to address something important? August. What is it? Dis. When will it be, father? August. Oh, that's right. It will be held about a week after we go back to the capital. Oh, by the way, you don't have to buy new and fancy clothes. Please attend the ceremony in the battle uniforms you've worn during the subjugation. I want to honor your achievements as a team. Dis. With that notice from Uncle Dis, everyone started getting excited again. Although this was the first time they heard about it, my grandparents seem particularly happy about the medal. This time it won't just be me but everyone else will also get decorated, so Grandpa and Grandma didn't say anything in opposition. But, if there is such a decoration, won't that trend grow Gus and I are worrying about get a lot stronger? It seems Gus is thinking same thing as I am. He nodded when our eyes met, and we walked toward Uncle Dis. Father, may I have a word? August, you could be a bit friendlier towards me, couldn't you? Dis, there are more important things than that right now. August, for such a thing. Dis, Uncle Dis seems to be slightly lonely but I can't help him this time because of the pressing matter at hand. While making sure others couldn't hear our conversation, Gus told Uncle Dis about our concerns. I see. I heard that such misunderstandings are spreading among the citizens as you guys overwhelmed. Dis. Even the weakest of devils are strong. The Swedes' kingdom was fighting a totally disadvantageous battle until we arrived is proof in and of itself. If a devil is misunderstood as being weak and someone tries to carelessly slay it, Shin. They will receive a painful backlash. Dis. It seems that the street gossip has not reached the higher ups of the country yet. However, if that rumor that has been floating around the kingdom reaches the ears of the soldiers in lower positions who usually go out to towns, if that mindset spreads throughout the military, there may be someone who will try to subjugate a devil by themselves if they appear. This belief may be further strengthened with this decoration. I would like Uncle Dis to warn the military so people don't try to subjugate a devil for merit since it is very dangerous. I understand, I will tell the military this, this time there was an extraordinary being named Shin Wolford who could slay the devils. Do not misunderstand that as the devils being weak. Dis. There are parts that worry me a bit, but, that is the gist of it. Shin. Will this be okay? I think the Swedes kingdom soldiers, who actually oppose the devils, have realized their strength. But what about Erlshide Kingdom's soldiers? I heard that Strom was seen at the site where the Empire's army was annihilated. However, he wasn't seen during the devil attacks. I hope Uncle Dis will listen to our advice. Also, I don't know how Els and Ys will react. If the devils are not perceived as a big deal, they may say that they don't need the alliance. If that happens, the small countries in the vicinity of Elshide and the former empire will be in big trouble. There is also a possibility that the other side will grasp the initiative. We might have no choice but to rely on Gus' wickedness. Really? We knock down the devils, and it just creates another problem that we'll have to deal with. I guess we are already dealing with it to some extent. Shin, what happened? Sicily. After finishing the meal and returning to the cottage, Sicily asked me that while giving me a cup of tea. Dot was I making a strange face? Shin. Rather than a strange face, it was more like a troubled face? Sicily. She put the tea down on the table and sat next to me. If you have any worries, would you please share them with me? I want to help Shin even if it is just a little. Sicily. She told me while gently holding my hand. Dot that's right, it's pointless if I worry about it by myself. Shin. Is it horrible enough for Shin to be troubled? Sicily. No. It's better to say that it is troublesome rather than horrible. Shin. Despite the fact that Grandma and Grandpa were watching us, I told her the same concerns I told Gus and Uncle Dis. Well, I guess the problem is to what extent will it go? Merlin. It's also difficult to resolve. Melinda. When I explained the situation, Grandpa and Grandma held a serious face. Did. Did we do something unnecessary? Sicily. It is very foolish of you to think that way. If you didn't defeat the devils then, several countries would have probably been destroyed. Melinda. Well, 
It isn't good to worry about it too much. Shin. I've also heard that rumor frequently in the short time we were shopping, so we should assume that it's considerably widespread. Merlin. By the way, wasn't grandma listening when we went out shopping? Shin. I wasn't listening to other people's conversations since my head was filled with swimsuits. I was buying swimsuits for the first time in quite a while, so I got too excited. Melinda. Dot. I heard something very unnecessary. Still, something like that shouldn't influence the talks between the three powers. Merlin. The alliance won't form if one of the powers is very vain. Melinda. So they're a problem after all. The devils have already attacked neighboring countries twice. It is quite obvious they plan to invade other countries. If possible, I want to strike before they do such a thing. For that to happen, alliance between the three powers is essential, but, aside from Earlshide, Els and Ys will have to gain something out of it. This goes especially for Els, a country of merchants. If they judge that there is no advantage for them, they may not establish an alliance. I'd like to believe that they won't do something as avaricious as that during a world crisis. Wow. Sicily. It's becoming quite a serious situation. Merlin. In the end, although I confessed my troubles, no one could not arrive at any particular solution. It seems I have no choice but to bet on Gus' wickedness. Why is it like this? I have to rely on Gus again. Shin. Do you have to carry the burden all by yourself? Sicily. Coincidentally, it seems Sicily also came to the cottage's balcony to cool down after that unsuccessful discussion. What do you mean? Shin. I mean everyone has their own role. Wasn't grandma saying something along those lines as well? Shin's magic tools will be sold through the work of my older brother and Glen San, so Shin will make money and doesn't have to think too much about it. Sicily. Oh, you mean having the right person in the right place? Shin. To be honest. I believe the only one who could match Strom is Shin, so Shin should just think about defeating the enemy in front of him. I think that it would be smart to leave the rest of the problems to someone who's good at handling it. Sicily. I don't want to trouble the others. Shin. Negotiations with other countries are a specialty of His Highness. If Shin tried to get involved in the discussion, His Highness will likely get angry. Sicily. Yeah, it certainly seems like he's telling me not to mess around in his territory. Shin. It feels like Gus really wants to send that message. We aren't very reliable yet. But we are all trying our best to let Shin depend on us. Sicily. Is that so? Shin. I had no idea that they felt that way. I also want you to depend on me for healing someday. Sicily. Yeah. I hope that I will have to rely on you for that someday. Shin. Yes. So please teach me how. Sicily. Sicily is wearing a dazzling smile as she said so. I'm so glad that I don't have to shoulder this alone. Ah. Sicily. By the time I noticed what I was doing, I had embraced Sicily. Thank you Sicily. Shin. Don't mention it. It is better now that the burden on Shin's heart was reduced. Sicily. Didn't you heal my heart? Shin. Ha. Huh. It's my responsibility to cure Shin's heart so don't give it to anyone else okay? Sicily. Yeah. Please. Shin. Yes, it's been entrusted to me. Sicily. I stare at Sicily up close, and dot. 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 My grandmother told us we should come back to the living room. Dot. The bedrooms are different. Melinda. Dot. I see. Shin. Ho. Sicily. I was getting really excited, but my grandmother poured cold water on me with that comment. After that, we slept in our own bedrooms. Ha. Ah, I don't want to go home. Sylvia, it seems like it. Shin, because I played with the research society members yesterday, so today, I'm hanging out with the Claude family. Speaking of the others, they seem to love beach volleyball so much that they taught it to their family members and are now playing it with them. It looks like they're holding a tournament or something. Meanwhile, Cecilia and Sylvia are relaxing on deck chairs in their swimsuits because they are tired after running around the kingdom working for the magic division. They have been suppressing the increasing number of demons and now that they are enjoying the vacation to the point that they don't even want to move. They really do give off a Nasan on vacation vibe. It seems like the most important thing for you is to relax. Shin. Because we rarely get to come to the Rittenheim Resort, if you don't fully enjoy it, it's your loss. Cecilia. Really? You rarely come even if you're a daughter of nobility. Shin. Our parents' house is certainly a part of the nobility, but we are already independent. T.O. put it simply, 
if we want to go on vacation we have to pay for it ourselves. Sylvia, the magic division certainly gives higher wages than an ordinary business but being able to afford to go the Rittenheim Resort is a different matter entirely. Cecilia, I'll never forget the envy in everyone's eyes when I told them about my vacation. Sylvia, Sylvia trembled a bit after saying that, dot in polite terms, an s, yeah, I don't want to go home. Cecilia, what are you talking about, Cecilia? Irene, mother? Cecilia, Irene suddenly appeared wearing a black bikini, and Cecilia began to sweat furiously, I think I just heard something, inexcusable. Irene, it must have been your imagination. Cecilia, that's right. Sylvia, is that so? Irene, yes, yes. S, C, it's good to relax while on vacation, but it's not okay to relax too much and neglect one's duties. Irene, yes, we understand. Cecilia, they're perfectly synchronized, in that aspect, Shin Kun sure is amazing already getting his second decoration at such a young age. Irene, I don't remember doing anything so exaggerated by myself. Shin, it is also wonderful that you don't get arrogant because of your achievements. I'm truly happy to be able to marry Cecily off to such a wonderful man. Irene, we aren't married yet. Shin, about that, I consulted with her father and when this turmoil is over, we'll hold the ceremony. Irene, huh? S, S, C, did I just hear something very amazing? Wasn't it supposed to be held after graduation? By resolving this disturbance, Shin Kun will be this country's number, this world's hero. Irene, even now, Shin's popularity in the magic division is astounding. Sylvia, the scale will be completely different. Since such a person is her partner, you can hold the ceremony even sooner and your income will also be increasing from now on. Irene, oh, so sharing the carriage and cottage was so we would get accustomed to it? Shin, yes, I talked to Melinda Sama and we arranged Cicely to sleep in the same cottage as you, so she can get used to the Wolford family. Irene, Grandma approved it as well? What about Grandpa? Oops, let's not go there. What about the Higher Magic Academy? We're still students. Shin, that doesn't matter because at the time you enroll you legally become an adult. There are many cases of people getting married while attending. Irene, really? Shin, I forgot about that, we were treated as children during this trip because we had our parents accompany us, the main reason for marrying after graduating the academy is because of the financial burden on students, however, with the patent on formal communication equipment for the kingdom and Shin's company, Shin Kun's income will be quite stable won't it? Irene, yes, well, Shin, an unbelievable sum of money, Cecilia, I wonder just how much, Sylvia, so, there is no reason not to hold an honest ceremony. Irene, ha, I understand. Shin, speaking of, Cicely has been quiet for a while now. As I pondered that, I looked at Cicely, dot ha, Cicely, something happened to her, the wife of a wealthy hero. Sylvia, how enviable. Cecilia, my sisters-in-law were envious, they are the ones who said I will marry Cicely. I guess that's the final seal of approval. You two should find a suitable husband soon as well. Irene, I want to as well. But. Sylvia, no one can compare to this superior suitor. Cecilia, Shin Kun is a special individual rather than a superior individual. He is the grandson of a hero, and he is a hero himself. At the same time, he is not arrogant and he is a genius talent at inventing magic tools. That sort of existence is not superior. It's more like a joke. Irene, my existence was designated as a joke. A person who can compete with someone like that, there might only be Prince Augusto. Sylvia, dot that's right. Cecilia, indeed, however, you have to be realistic. Irene, true. Sylvia, I would like for my sisters-in-law to find a nice person to be their husband, because I don't know how Cecily and I would respond if they became envious of our relationship. By the way, Shen Kun, this may be sudden but have you decided on a church? If not, you should decide on one as soon as possible. Irene, as a matter of fact, there is already a place I asked Gus to reserve. Shin, oh, so you have already deciding on a church, so, which church did you ask to reserve? Irene, the Earlshide Cathedral. Shin, dot dot huh? Irene, I asked Gus and he said it was okay. Shin, what? C, S. I, the scream of my mother-in-law and sisters-in-law rang out, wait, is that, is that true? Irene, well, 
I just need to decide when it will be, so I can schedule it. Shin, because I had time while preparing for the trip, I asked Gus to reserve it for me, but he told me that I had to get acknowledged by the priest. A wedding ceremony at Earlshide Cathedral. Cecilia, really enviable. Sylvia, isn't it? So far only royalties have had weddings there. Irene, is that so? It's lucky that I'm on good terms with Gus then. Shin, it's nice to experience the privilege of royalty once in a while. I don't think that's all there is to it. Irene, Shin, Olshide Cathedral. Sicily, oh, Sicily finally returned to reality. When you saw a wedding ceremony at the Darm Cathedral, we made a promise, so I asked Gus behind your back. Should I apologize for that? Shin, I decided the church without considering her feelings. If she doesn't like that, I will end up owing Gus a favor for nothing. Cicely then shook her head and hugged me. Please don't apologize. I'm delighted. And if it's you I have a feeling it could really happen. Cicely, I'm glad you're happy about the arrangement. With the ceremony decided, let's try our best to defeat the devils. Shin, yes. Sicily, Sicily replied with a full smile. Was the surprise a success? Irene San was looking at us warmly and my sisters-in-law had complicated faces filled with envy. By the way, what about Cecil San and Royce San? As expected of Merlin Sama, attracting everyone's attention with such a move. Royce, but to look like that, doesn't Melinda get angry? Cecil, don't you think an eagle will stand out? Melinda doesn't mind because she knows that eagles will turn black when they come to the sea in summer, don't they? Merlin, dot what are you doing? Dot what on earth are you doing? Irene, oh, no, Irene, this is. Cecil, oh, yes, mother, I was given fantastic advice by Merlin Sama. Royce, and just as Shinkunt told me some wonderful news. Irene, oh. Irene's trembling. What are you trying to do in front of your future son, brother-in-law? Please be honest. Irene. No, no. We're just lying on the sand warmed up by the sun. Cecil. Apologize. Irene. Yes. C. R. Irene began to lecture my father-in-law and brother-in-law, so Cecily and I left. Grandpa seems to be going fishing with the lure I gave him. Ha. Irene's son is a terrifying force. Shin. Since I can remember, I was more afraid of making my mother angry rather than my father. Sicily, is something wrong Sicily? Shin, there was a time when, I remember, she wouldn't yell, however, she would instead be angry in silence. The dread never left. Sicily, as she said that, she clung to my arm. She's slightly shivering. Was it that scary? I was often scolded by grandma as well. Shin, oh, I can imagine that. Sicily, ouch dot that was mean wasn't it? Shin, foo, ha ha, I'm sorry. Sicily, laughing crazily, she ran away from me. Wait a moment. Shin, Kaya. Sicily, what are you two up to in a place like this? Maria, it seems that I have arrived at the site of the beach volleyball competition while chasing Sicily. Good heavens, this is quite the spectacle. Sicily, yeah, no one can stop the crown prince's thunder god shot. Yuri, thunder god shot. Shin, as we were talking, Gus jumped up high with body strengthening magic then smashed the ball with thunder magic. The beach ball, clad in lightning, darted into the opposing court with an irregular and frightening power. Rin's wind god shot is also unstoppable. Yuri, wind god shot. Shin, this time, Rin launched an attack with wind magic. The beach ball, accelerated by the force of the wind, pierced the opponent's court at a blinding speed. There were no techniques like that yesterday. Shin, Alice tried an attack clad in fire, and, well. Maria, it's time, eat this, flame tornado. Alice, Alice yelled while applying the composite magic of fire and wind on the beach ball. The ball flew in a spiral pattern, I won't let you, water block. Tony, Tony blocked the ball with his arms enveloped in water to avoid getting hurt from the ball. Bullshit. Alice, leave it to me. Olivia, Olivia strengthened her body and leapt from her position to pick up the returned ball. Julius. Thor, knew you were a power bump. Julius, Julius struck Thor's toss with a full power body reinforcement. He pierced through the block and landed in the opponent's court. Don't get carried away, Julius. August, I'm sorry but on the court it doesn't matter if you are the crown prince. Julius, well said. In that case, I shall answer this provocation with my all. August, ha ha, are you getting serious now? Julius. 
Now it's my turn. August, look out. Thor. Dot, what is this? Wasn't this supposed to be a family tournament? Shin. Such a sport isn't for everyone. The family members already retired. Maria. Why aren't Yuri and Maria playing as well? Sicily. It's a 4v4 so we're waiting for our turn. Yuri. Dot, everyone got too much into it. Well, I was able to spend a pleasant vacation while creating a new game and spending time with the team members' family. Yawns. Shin. We stayed at the Rittenheim Resort for three nights until the vacation was over. Sicily and I couldn't sleep in the same bedroom because Grandma was keeping a close eye on us. It's a pity, but we stayed for three nights and Sicily seems to have gotten somewhat accustomed to living with us. My Grandma liked her from the start, and Grandpa and I acted like having Sicily around was natural. I will return to the royal capital by a carriage but as soon as I get home there will be a decorating ceremony. And now everyone from the Ultimate Magicians is famous too? Should I slowly start teaching them gate? When you're famous, walking around the city becomes very hard. I had to disguise myself with optical camouflage many times while shopping in town. If I didn't do that, I would have probably gotten swarmed. I don't really want to use optical camouflage magic because it's dangerous. Because I can't see myself and others can't see me. Bumping into people is unavoidable, because they mostly can't understand optical camouflage magic, gate might even be easier to learn since grandpa figured it out on his own. With the battles against the devils and the magic volleyball, the groundwork is already laid out. When I informed everyone, Rin was particularly happy. The time has come at last. I will do my best to remember. Rin. Her breathing began turning very rough. Where are you going to teach us? August. First. I would like to work on the image. Can I use the laboratory in the academy? Shin. While it's long vacation, the activities of study groups are of course allowed to continue. Since the school was still on leave, after the decoration ceremony everyone decided to practice gate there. Three days after returning to the royal capital and the fatigue from the trip healed, we assembled at the royal palace. Because everyone will be decorated this time, grandpa and grandma will join the other relatives. It's finally time. Maria, ha, ah, I'm so nervous. Sicily, I'm okay this time because everyone's with me. Last time I was alone. Shin, you must have barely survived. Maria, Sicily and Maria joined us at my house and the three of us boarded a carriage and headed straight for the royal castle. Because I overcame this stress alone once before, I'm much calmer than Sicily and Maria. We arrived at the royal palace at the same time as another carriage. HH hey everyone. Go 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 good mo morning. Alice, you're too tense, Alice. Shin, don't say something like that so casually. Isn't this a decorating ceremony? Some people spend their whole lives dreaming about it. Alice, that's right. But if you're impatient, you won't get decorated. Shin, I will relax a little. Alice, everyone from the team arrived one after another. Although I had the chance to visit the royal palace quite a bit recently, this time it's a decorating ceremony. Would it be unreasonable not to get nervous? Well, today is the decorating ceremony, but after this will come really hard work. August. Gus is already in the waiting room because he lives in the royal palace. After. Alice. A mob will approach you, especially if you are single, so be careful not to get caught up with some weird guy. August. Of course. M. A. Y. I don't particularly want a boyfriend. Rin. When you receive a decoration, a shallow person will appear. Maria should especially be careful considering the fact that she quite clearly expressed her desire for a boyfriend. Rin remains the same as usual. I wonder what will happen to school after the vacation ends. Won't people swarm it? Will Mark and Olivia be alright? I warn Gus about that future. Ultimate magicians, it's time. Soldier Jeff. Finally a soldier came to pick us up. Everyone seems to have reached a peak of tension. Olivia has a somewhat troubled face. However it can't be helped since we've already come this far. We arrived to the venue while being led by the soldier that picked us up. While I was waiting in front of the door, I could hear a voice from the inside. The heroes who have saved not only Earlshide but many other nations. The ultimate magicians have arrived. E announcer. After that loud declaration, the door opened, like last time. The aristocrats, civil servants, and military officials welcomed us with an applause. Everyone except Gus was caught in the atmosphere. Let's go. 
August, everybody returned to their sense when Gus started walking. Gus was here today as a member of Ultimate Magicians. May and Aunt Julia were near the throne. The entrance of His Majesty, Dissium von Erlscheid. E announcer. Everyone present knelt as uncle disappeared. I am pleased to be able to honor the heroes who appeared in Erlscheid today. This time, their achievements are unparalleled in history, so a special medal was prepared this time. Dis. The quiet people were stirred up in an instant. Ultimate magicians, you will be awarded the Golden Dragon Medal, Dis. As soon as Uncle Dis declared that, everyone in attendance let out surprised cries. There was such a loud uproar because the Golden Dragon is the symbol drawn on the national flag of the Erlscheid Kingdom. We were decorated with a medal that bears the same name as that Golden Dragon. There is probably no greater glory for the people of the Erlscheid Kingdom. I have been in Erlscheid for only a few months, so I'm not completely sure, but, by the way, dragons. Dragons are a fantasy creature that don't actually exist. Even though this world has magic, I wanted to see a dragon. Now then, to grant everyone their medal. Dis. After the declaration, the name will be called in order, and the medal will be received from Uncle Dis. Everyone was stiff and Alice's arms and legs were glued to her body. One by one, as our names are called. We stepped up and received our medal from Uncle Dis. Gus was the second to last one to be called. You have become a fine man Augusto. I can rest easy leaving the country in your hands. Dis. Why would you say that? If it's you father, you can still do a lot more. I hope you continue to do your best in the future. August, Augusto. Dis. Uncle Dis is deeply impressed by Gus's words, but they probably held a different meaning to Gus. I think it's because after Gus takes the throne his freedom will disappear, and for some reason, I was called last. This is your second decoration in just a few months. That has never happened before in the kingdom's history. A truly splendid achievement. Dis. I'm very grateful. Shin. In accordance with Uncle Dis being a king. I respond like a subordinate. And now I will receive my medal, or so it was supposed to go. Shin Walford has become the king of the wizards and unprecedented in this world. Therefore I give him the title of Magic King. This is the birth of Magic King Shin. Dis. Dot. Why at? What is this? How did this happen? Why does Uncle Dis know about that? Uh, Gus? Gus told Uncle Dis. When I turned around and looked at Gus, his face was trembling. He's holding in a laugh. How? Such a thing. So Gus was behind this whole thing. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. A huge cheer suddenly arose from the attendees. Because it was so abrupt, I couldn't object. Magic King Shin. To be given a title at such a young age. Magic King. Magic King. Magic King. Everyone was repeatedly chanting, Magic King. Please stop. Don't call me by that name. I'm begging you. Mercy. 